Chapter 3001 Gold Crystal Soaring Serpent Long Chen saw a giant cave easily hundreds of miles wide. He hadn't expected there to be such a giant space underground. At this moment, a group of people were fighting a golden horned python. It was 300 meters tall and covered in strange runes. When the scales moved, water vapor would burst out, leaving layers and layers of ripples. Hundreds of experts surrounded the golden horned python, but they were the ones being killed miserably. There were blood stains everywhere, as well as some broken corpses. In the distance, there were dozens of people lying on the ground powerlessly. What is that? Luo Bing jumped in shock when she sensed the aura of the golden horned python. Its aura was chilling. An ancient species, the gold crystal soaring serpent. When it's mature, it's a rank 5 immortal beast. At rank 3, it gives rise to gold. At rank 4, it grows wings. At rank 5, it condenses its crystal. Seeing how its scales have turned golden, but it only has water chi wings, not true wings. It should be at the peak of rank 3, said Long Chen. Having read through so many books in the academy, Long Chen was no longer a novice when it came to the immortal world. He had skimmed through all kinds of knowledge. We're actually bearing witness to an immortal beast. Li Ke was shocked. Immortal beasts possessed the blood of the immortal Tao and the blessing of the immortal world. They were the strongest of the beast races and rarely seen. Boom. The gold crystal soaring serpent's tail whipped toward those clear river palace disciples. But at this moment, a violet-robed fair-faced man with long hair smashed a water thorn at its tail. As a result, water chi exploded, unleashing a giant ripple. Those disciples blocked with all their power but were still sent flying by that wave, with half of them coughing up blood. As for the man with the water thorn, he once more attacked. His water thorn was a rarely seen water attribute divine weapon. It was extremely sharp and had actually left long lines all over the serpent's body. The disciples that had been knocked down charged back, working together with the man to suppress the gold crystal soaring serpent. Based on their practiced movements, they had been fighting for a long time and had grown familiar with the gold crystal soaking serpent's attack tempo. Are they trying to subdue it? Asked Luo Bing. With their power. Subduing it is impossible. An immortal beast can only be subdued through absolute power. Without obtaining its approval, it would rather die than submit, said Long Chen. Subduing an immortal beast called for a one against one fight with it. Furthermore, it required an absolute power disparity. If both sides were evenly matched and the immortal beast was only beaten through luck, it would still not acknowledge the winner as its master. For so many people to be attacking it jointly. Forcing it to submit was impossible. Then is its corpse very valuable? Why would they attack it? Asked Luo Ning. Look behind it. Long Chen pointed. Luo Ning and others looked over. There was a pool of water behind the gold crystal soaring serpent. And mist swirled out of it. They could vaguely see a small platform on the stone border that was shaped like a plate. A strange plant was growing on the platform. Its leaves were like a sword orchid pointing in four directions. At the center was a tiny trunk that was bearing a single fruit, which was scarlet like blood. Seven long whiskers hung on it. What is that? Asked Mu Kingayan. None of them recognized it. Long Chen explained. It is a divine whisker daffodil. The whisker part comes from how it hangs like a person's beard. What is most precious about it is not the fruit, but the seven whiskers growing out of the fruit. It takes 800 years to bear fruit and a thousand years for its trunk to grow an inch. The trunk is over seven inches long, so it's been growing for over eight thousand years. The divine whisker daffodil is a special plant that doesn't fit into classic medicinal ingredient tears. It contains water essence, and such a thing can be merged with thousands of medicinal pills. It is a treasure that every water element cultivator dreams of obtaining. Even directly consuming it would be endlessly beneficial. No wonder they are going all out. Their leader is a powerful water cultivator, said Luo Bing. The majority of the Clear River Palace's disciples were water element cultivators. The gold crystal soaring serpent was also a water element immortal beast and was clearly here to cultivate off of the divine whisker daffodil. Since the Clear River Palace's disciples wanted to take it, it naturally fought back with all its power. This beast's blood chi is starting to drop. Just keep fighting steadily and avoid casualties. This divine whisker daffodil has already entered our pocket. 
shouted the leader. His voice was sharp and thin, very unpleasant to listen to. It sounded half feminine and raised goosebumps. However, the clear river palace's disciples were invigorated by his voice. So many of them had died, but they were through with the hardest part. With the gold crystal soaring serpent's power starting to drop, it signified that the treasure was about to enter their hands. Everything had been worth it. The clear river palace's disciples grew even more careful, not daring to relax at all. They surrounded the gold crystal soaring serpent, with it guarding the divine whisker daffodil. When it knew it was definitely going to die, it might even destroy this treasure before its death. Thus, they didn't dare to go crazy with their attacks just yet. As long as they didn't force it, it would think that their power was also dropping, and it still had some hope. As long as they exhausted all its power, it wouldn't be able to destroy the divine whisker daffodil at the end when it finally thought to. This was the crux. Brother San, they are very powerful. We'll be at a disadvantage if we just charge in, said Mu Kingayan. She appraised these disciples and realized that they had over 500 powerful members. That was a hundred people more than the members that both their guilds had brought. Leaving like this was something that they were unwilling to do. But just charging in, ignoring whether or not they would succeed or not, would come at a heavy price. It's fine. Just listen to me. That divine whisker daffodil is already mine. Along with the gold crystal soaring serpent, their lives are also mine. Long Chen smiled. That divine whisker daffodil was very useful to him. He had to obtain it. Half an incense stick's worth of time later, the gold crystal soaring serpent's aura began to plummet, which delighted the clear river palace's people. It was now unable to destroy the divine whisker daffodil even if it wanted to. However, just to be safe, they chose to continue wearing it down until it entered its weakest state before killing it. The gold crystal soaring serpent opened its mouth wide and spat out a wave of water swords that forced everyone back. However, they didn't notice that within that water chi, a medicinal pill flew into its mouth just before it closed. Suddenly, its scales lit up and its aura grew explosively. A terrifying pressure spread Novaloon.com not good. It seems to be making a breakthrough, shouted the leader with the water thorn. Chapter 3002 Boss Sankon's People Boom As the gold crystal soaring serpent's body whirled, water chi soared, forming a whirlpool of death. The water chi contained astral winds that tore through space. Retreat. The leader with the water thorn shouted, unable to comprehend how this gold crystal soaring serpent that was on the verge of death would suddenly make a breakthrough. Now, its aura indicated that it was nearing the level of a rank 4 immortal beast. He held his water thorn in front of him. As it glowed, runes and water chi merged together, and a giant shield spread to cover everyone. Intense rumbling then rang out. Mu Kingayan and the others felt the astral winds blast across them. It was so strong that they felt like knives were brushing past their faces. They were already so far away but still felt such immense power. Then the core of the battlefield had to be under unimaginable pressure. Mu Kingayan, Luo Bing, and the others felt a trace of pity for the Clear River Palace's people for the first time. They knew that this was definitely Boss Long San's masterpiece. As a result, the land was in ruins, and the Clear River Palace's disciples littered the ground. No, it should rather be said that some were hanging in the sky as well. Broken limbs and flesh were everywhere, on the ground, on the walls, even hanging on the stalactites above them. Other than the close to a hundred people beside the wielder of the water thorn, the rest had been killed. The gold crystal soaring serpent then fell to the ground after that one attack. Its aura extinguished. It died just like that. Bastard. The leader cursed furiously and smashed it with his water thorn, causing a rain of blood. It was only after three strikes that he managed to cut off its giant head. He almost went crazy. The power that the serpent had unleashed right before its death had destroyed everything here. So many experts had died. There was no need to even check the weak divine whisker daffodil. So many people had perished, but they hadn't gained anything. No need to be so angry. Look, isn't the divine whisker daffodil still in perfect shape? How are you going to thank me? Just at this moment, a lazy voice rang out. The clear river palace's experts were shocked and hastily looked over. When the mist slowly scattered, 
they finally saw a black-robed man standing on top of the platform where the Divine Whisker Daffodil was. He was holding the Divine Whisker Daffodil, smiling at them with his teeth. That smile was warm and sincere, seemingly grateful. Upon seeing him holding their treasure, the Clear River Palace's disciples' eyes instantly turned red. They surrounded him, killing intent surging out of them. Who are you? Release the Divine Whisker Daffodil, shouted their leader. Long Chen smiled. It's impossible for me to release it. I, Boss Long San, have an ailment. What I can't obtain, I will do everything to obtain. What I've already obtained, I will never let go. Long Chen directly tossed it into the primal chaos space. This was a precious medicinal plant. Many medicinal pills could of their quality increase by adding it, and it could also be used to specially refine dozens of water element medicinal pills. Every single one of those pills was incomparably precious. Hence, this divine whisker daffodil was practically a priceless treasure. When it entered the primal chaos space, it didn't disappoint him. Even after leaving this water element cultivation ground, it continued to flourish. Moreover, it seemed to become even more vibrant. Brat, you're courting death. What sect are you from? Shouted the Clear River Palace's disciples. Just now, they hadn't dared to attack for fear of damaging the Divine Whisker Daffodil. But seeing him put it away enraged them even more. It had to be known that this was a priceless treasure that needed to be stored in special water element items in order to guarantee that its divine energy didn't fade away. Seeing him putting it away so casually, they wanted to tear him apart. Long Chen waved his hand, kindly saying, Don't get so emotional. It's very safe with me, and it won't be damaged at all. But in any case, I don't need you to get so worried about my treasure. Do I? Who are you? shouted the leader, killing intent overflowing out of him. A sharp aura locked onto Long Chen. In the face of that aura lock, Long Chen didn't resist at all. He allowed himself to be locked down. Is your head full of water? Or are your ears blocked? I am who I am. The one and only. The mighty. The one who stands tallest amongst the jade trees and blocks the greatest wind. The greatest hero of the nine prefectures. The high firmament academy's boss Long San. Long Chen clasped his hands behind him and spoke extremely arrogantly, looking down his nose at them. So you're trash from the High Firmament Academy. We are looking for you all, and you just have to send yourself to us, sneered one of the disciples. Hand over the Divine Whisker Daffodil, or we'll kill everyone from the High Firmament Academy. Those disciples roared furiously. So many of them had died, and now the treasure had been taken by Long Chen. If they weren't afraid of him damaging the Divine Whisker Daffodil, they would have already pounced on him. This little fellow who seemed to only be a novice in the Divine Flame was looking down on them. They all began to threaten him, as if that would make Long Chen submit. Hence, Long Chen curled his lips and looked at the one with the water thorn. It seems that you would be a second-rate character in the Clear River Palace. Tell me, what's the name of your rank 1 disciple? I wouldn't want to kill him without even knowing his name. Ha ha ha. The disciples laughed furiously. Idiot. Senior apprentice brother you is rank 7 on our divine flame rankings and can easily crush you like an ant. You dare to ask about stronger people? Other than Bei Shishi and Chu Changchun who are barely qualified to carry the shoes of senior apprentice brother Tian Yu. The rest aren't even qualified to ask for his name. Long Chen didn't react at all but hidden in the distance. Mu Qingyan and the others were shocked. They had originally thought that this fellow with the water thorn would be the leading figure of the Clear River Palace. Even if he wasn't number one, he had to be number two. Just now, he had been the only one capable of blocking the gold crystal soaring serpent's full power attack. He was able to challenge a peak rank three immortal beast but was only rank seven in the Clear River Palace? Just how terrifying was the Clear River Palace? Long Chen shook his head. Isn't rank 7 only a second-rate character? Do you need to quibble with my wording? Fine. I won't waste words with you. I don't like communicating in this fashion. Let's switch methods. For example you kneeling and listening to me talk. Long Chen suddenly raised his hands and clapped once. Just then, dozens of arrows silently rained down. By the time those disciples reacted, their heads had been pierced. Warriors of the High Firmament Academy, please start your show. 
Long Chen sat down on the platform. A stalk of straw had appeared in his hand out of nowhere. After biting it, he lazily leaned back. Chapter 3003 Sisters joined forces due to Long Chen's black robes. The Clear River Palace's people were unable to confirm his status. But when the Unfettered Alliance and the Luo Gates archers appeared, they finally believed that he was from the High Firmament Academy. As the archers repeatedly shot, the Clear River Palace's disciples fell one by one. They became live targets here. The archers that Long Chen had picked to join them on this incursion were all talented and powerful. Their arrows were sharp and merciless. Kill them all. That senior apprentice brother you, the one with the water thorn, roared furiously. A bunch of archers that could only hide actually dared to sneak attack them. The Clear River Palace's experts blocked the arrows and charged over. As long as they could reach those archers, they would slaughter them. It took a few sacrifices to get through the rain of arrows, but they finally reached them. Just at that moment, the other disciples of the Unfettered Alliance and the Luo Gate charged out. Over 400 people instantly surrounded the Clear River Palace's experts. A bloody battle started. The Waterthorn user, Senior Apprentice Brother Yu, gave his orders and then charged toward Long Chen, trying to reclaim the Divine Whisker Daffodil. However, he had barely moved when a sharp sword chi slashed through the air, causing him to shiver deep in his soul. He hastily focused on defending. Sparks flew. Mu King Ian's figure then shook and flew back. However, Senior Apprentice Brother Yu's expression completely changed. Although he had managed to block Mu King Ian's sword, his water thorn was left with a rice sized nick in it. This water thorn was a supremely powerful spirit item. It was tough and flexible, hard and soft. It was able to naturally block a portion of any attack's power. If it weren't for this water thorn, he also wouldn't have dared to fight the gold crystal soaring serpent. However, this spirit item was now damaged, affecting the efficiency of its runes. It shocked, angered, and aggrieved him. Just as he was feeling distressed, violet light swords appeared in the air. Luo Bing and Luo Ning showed up at the same time. Their swords were composed of violet chi, and their combination attack was perfect. One was slow, one was fast, one attacked, one defended. This was Long Chen's first time seeing their combination technique. He hadn't expected it to be so flawless. Luo Bing and Luo Ning's violet chi swords surrounded senior apprentice brother Yu. One was as heroic as a goddess of war, while the other was as elegant and agile as a fairy. They completely suppressed their opponent. Long Chen smiled. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were truly smart. Last time, when Long Chen had fought Chu Yang, he had unleashed an endless stream of attacks that prevented Chu Yang from unleashing any of his big moves. These two sisters were now doing the same thing as him. One of them was constantly attacking. At first, Luo Bing was defending a bit, but later, both of them could continuously attack. With their marvelous cooperation, senior apprentice brother Yu had no chance to retaliate. He was forced to passively defend. As for Mu King Ian, she found that she was superfluous here. If she joined in, it might ruin their rhythm. Thus, she chose to join Li Ke and the others, but she didn't attack herself. She always followed Long Chen's teachings, so she didn't take away other people's chances to improve themselves. Sometimes helping out of the goodness of her heart would become the reason a person would die in the future. Hence, she just kept watch. The reason why the High Firmament Academy's disciples were weak wasn't because of their cultivation base or talent. Instead, it was because they lacked any true tempering. Only the danger of death on the battlefield could turn them into true warriors, transforming them from greenhouse flowers. With Li Kei, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others supporting the disciples, as well as the archers and the healing warriors as backups, the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance's warriors had nothing to worry about. However, this time, they weren't facing brainless devil creatures but true experts. Despite their numbers, they truly felt that their enemies were powerful this time. In the beginning, quite a few people were injured and almost killed. Even so, with the number advantage, after getting used to this new kind of battlefield, the cooperation of both guilds grew clearer, and their advantage also grew. On the other side, Luo Bing clashed with senior apprentice brother Yu directly. When she fell back, 
Luo Ning slashed him in the back. Even his precious armor wasn't able to block her attack, and a large cut opened up on his back. Just as he was injured, Luo Bing struck again. The two of them had essentially surrounded him, so all he could do was fight for a chance to form hand seals. But that chance never came. Luo Bing, you shouldn't have clashed with him directly just now. You just need to use two bloodline spirit swords. One blocks the water thorn's tip, the other blocks the middle. Grasp hold of the timing, and you can stop half his power instantly. Use a glue art to keep hold of his weapon. Although it will only hold it for a moment, Luo Ning will be able to strike his head. To sacrifice two bloodline spirit weapons for an enemy's life isn't a loss Luo Ning. Why are you spinning when slashing people? In that position, all you need to do is kick with your left foot and you can strike his third leg. If you hit it, he'll lose half his life. If he dares to dodge, then Luo Bing is to the left. He can only go right, and that would be sending his neck to your sword. As the two fought, Long Chen leaned back on the stone platform and gave some pointers. Although the two of them were already very strong, they were lacking experience when it came to killing their enemies. They didn't understand how to predict attacks and judge risks. So Long Chen used this person to give them a lesson. Luo Bing and Luo Ning felt like they were grasping insights repeatedly, so they grew even more brazen. Their attacks grew more and more vicious, almost sinister even. As for that senior apprentice brother Yu, his expression changed. As Long Chen constantly pointed out his weaknesses, he felt more and more fear. In front of Long Chen, he felt like his life was out of his own hands and could be taken at any moment. Let me go, or I'll make all you accompany me in death. That senior apprentice brother Yu suddenly took out a bead. When it appeared, this entire space quivered. A terrifying energy was contained within this bead. Definitely more than enough to kill everyone here. Chapter 3004 Dekawater Divine Lightning Sensing that terrifying energy, Luo Bing and Luo Ning hastily stopped their attacks. They both retreated. What is this thing? Long Chen looked at that dark and murky object. An expression of shock gradually appeared on his face. This is Dekawater Divine Lightning. By compressing a thousand mile pool of Xuan water into a lightning bead, once it erupts, you, you, senior apprentice brother Yu smiled and explained, only to find that Long Chen also had a Dekawater Divine Lightning in his hand, and it was the same as his. He then looked down at his own hand and found it empty. At some point, his Dekawater Divine Lightning had vanished and appeared in Long Chen's hand. Dekawater Divine Lightning? I've only seen it in books. I didn't expect to actually see it in person today. This thing's quite amazing. Xuan water is extremely heavy. To compress all that Xuan water into a bead, when this thing explodes, at the very least, everyone here would be blasted out of existence. Little friend, this thing is too dangerous. It's not for children. So I'm confiscating this. Do you have any more? Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy and didn't put away the Dekawater Divine Lightning. Senior Apprentice Brother Yu's head was blank. He felt like he was going crazy. This black-robed person was no human. He was a devil. He subconsciously replied. No. No? All right. Kill him. Long Chen waved his hand to Luo Bing and Luo Ning. The two of them almost laughed as they looked at Senior Apprentice Brother Yu's lifeless face. It was as if he had turned into a fool. Even they themselves didn't see how Long Chen had taken the Dekawater Divine Lightning, but that wasn't important. Probably the only one within the High Firmament Academy capable of toying with the experts of the Clear River Palace to this extent was Long Chen. Long Chen had been paying attention to Senior Apprentice Brother Yu closely this entire time. After all, he didn't use people's lives as jokes. The instant Senior Apprentice Brother Yu had taken out the bead, Long Chen sensed it. The reason this Dekawater Divine Lightning was called Divine Lightning was because it contained a lightning rune inside that was used to detonate the bead. As a controller of Thunder Force, Long Chen easily drew it over. This senior apprentice brother Yu hadn't been planning on actually using it, so he didn't activate it the moment it came out. It had only been taken out to threaten them. Moreover, he had held it very lightly because he was afraid of accidentally detonating it. Hence, for Long Chen to take it was simple. Luo Bing and Luo Ning once more started attacking. Senior apprentice brother Yu's mental state was in chaos, 
and in just a few exchanges, Luo Ning cut off his arm. Tell me, why are you targeting the High Firmament Academy? Why are you trying to slaughter all our disciples? If you tell the truth, I can spare your life, said Long Chen indifferently. Hearing that, Luo Bing's killing blow slowed down, allowing him to narrowly escape with his life. Are you telling the truth? Asked senior apprentice brother Yu with a quivering voice. Whether it's the truth or not isn't important to you, because you have no other choice. If you don't believe it, you can take your secret to hell. I can just find someone else to ask. Long Chen shrugged. Fine. I'll tell you. I received orders from the palace master to kill all the disciples from the High Firmament Academy, especially Bei Shishi. She must be slain here. Furthermore, the Five Powers' first priority isn't to search for treasures, but to kill disciples of the High Firmament Academy, shouted senior apprentice brother Yu as he fended over Luo Bing and Luo Ning's slower attacks. With their constant attacks, he had no ability to lie. Why would you suddenly target the High Firmament Academy? asked Long Chen. In the past openings of the Jilin Immortal Land, although the High Firmament Academy would often be bullied, it was definitely not so obvious. There had to be a reason. I don't know. We are just following orders. Make sure to keep your word, shouted senior apprentice brother Yu. He didn't know the reason. Hearing this answer, Long Chen frowned. If even he didn't know, then the others probably wouldn't know either. This probably related to the games between sects. However, Heaven Master Yun Yang had subtly indicated to him not to worry about consequences. This was the reason he had been given such immense authority. Not knowing the reason was no longer important. All he needed from this person was to confirm the attitude of the five powers. Then he could comprehend the academy's intentions. As the five powers wanted to wipe them out here, he didn't need to have any misjivings. Since the academy had given him the authority, he could go big. I, Long Chen, always keep my word. I'll spare your life. Long Chen waved his hand impatiently. Luo Bing and Luo Ning both stopped. Senior apprentice brother Yu was delighted and about to thank them when Luo Ning's sword suddenly slashed down. Caught off guard. His head was cut off. He spared your life. But I never said that I would. Luo Ning sheathed her sword with a sneer. Senior apprentice brother Yu's eyes were wide open. Filled with resentment and anger. He could truly be said to have his eyes opened in death. Long Chen and Luo Ning exchanged a smile. For the first time, they had a silent agreement. Long Chen naturally wouldn't let this fellow off. While his soul star hasn't extinguished, should we try to do a soul sark? Luo Ning pointed to that head. Upon advancing to the divine flame realm, even if a person's head was cut off, they wouldn't instantly die. The soul would be in a state of quasi-death, and if someone saved them within half a day or so, it would be possible to protect the soul. Before Long Chen even said anything, Luo Bing said, people like them definitely have restrictions in their souls to prevent others from peering into their secrets. There may even be a backlash curse hidden inside that will damage the person doing the soul sark. It's not worth the risk. Important geniuses would have spiritual restrictions in their souls due to them knowing too many secrets. If a soul sark was forcibly conducted, the soul would explode which would strike the person doing the soul sark. Some sects were even more domineering and would use beast souls that transformed into curses when a soul sark was conducted. The curses would throw a person's soul into disorder, or perhaps even take control of the person. Unless you had a powerful soul cultivator with absolute certainty in being able to get past those restrictions, soul searches shouldn't be randomly conducted. This senior apprentice brother you was dead and the other disciples of the Clear River Palace were also slain. On the other hand, the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance's side only had a dozen people with rather heavy injuries and needed to rest. They didn't have any casualties, so it could be called a complete victory. Clean up the battlefield. For now, we're no longer searching for treasures. We have to gather all the disciples of the Academy and change strategies. We'll prepare for something big. A bloodthirsty glint flickered in Long Chen's eyes. Being targeted by the five powers caused his warlike blood to start heating up. His most primal killing desire slowly woke. Chapter 3005 Primal Bloodline It was unknown why the five powers would suddenly start targeting the High Firmament Academy. 
But while Long Chen didn't like the Academy's disciples, he wasn't willing to just watch as they died miserable deaths. Hence, he directly sent out the order to gather, and more and more of the Academy's disciples gathered from nearby. After three days, 500,000 disciples of the Academy had come. They didn't know why Long Chen had sent out this signal, but due to their respect for him, they all rushed over. The Academy had originally sent a million disciples in, but now only half came. The majority of these people were guilds with lower ranks. Those with higher ranks had either gone too far to receive the signal or ignored it. Luo Bing and the others silently shook their heads when it came to those guilds that hadn't come. If a person wanted to die, not even the heavens could stop them. However, what worried Luo Bing slightly was that the Luo Alliance's people didn't come. Long Chen's message would only be received by the leader of the guild. So, perhaps Luo King Gaiang had received the signal and was ignoring it, making her uneasy. When those people arrived, Long Chen directly told them that the five powers were declaring war on the High Firmament Academy. Their goal was to exterminate all the Academy's disciples. Hearing that, everyone was stunned. They didn't dare to believe it. Long Chen directly told them that if they believed him, they had to listen to his arrangements. If they didn't believe him, fine, they could continue exploring as they pleased. Ultimately, those disciples chose to believe Long Chen. After all, they didn't feel like Long Chen had any reason to trick them. Long Chen split the five million disciples into five groups, led by the experts that Long Chen picked out. He also picked out 3,000 elite disciples to join the sides of the Luo Gate and the Unfettered Alliance. Under his direction, they slowly pressed deeper in. All the treasures were put together and would be distributed once they left the Jilin Immortal Land. Their main goal was no longer to search for treasures, but to protect their lives. They only searched for treasures while they were absolutely guaranteed to keep their lives. As for the 3,000 elites, they were essentially the leaders of the guilds and some rather powerful warriors. Long Chen led these disciples deeper into the Jilin Immortal Land. Someone else would have great difficulty leading such a force. That was because these people were leaders of their guilds, and not so easy to order around Novaloon.com. However, Long Chen possessed an indescribable charisma, so these people quickly fell into line. In Luo Bing's view, Long Chen was a natural leader. In just a few sentences, he gained everyone's trust. Seeing those prideful guild leaders listening to his orders, Luo Bing sighed in amazement. His charisma was truly powerful. On the way, they encountered a group of experts from Silver Moon City. Long Chen then sent out a small squad as bait, causing those 700 experts to immediately surround and give the order to kill them. Those orders had only just been given when Long Chen surrounded them with over 3,000 experts. Without a word, those people were directly killed. Through questioning the leader, Long Chen obtained the same answer he had gotten from senior apprentice brother Yu. The higher-ups had ordered them to kill the disciples of the High Firmament Academy, but they didn't know the reason. However, from their leader, Long Chen learned that the top experts of the Five Powers had entered deep into the Jilin Immortal Land, not in search of treasures, but to kill Bei Shishi. The higher-ups gave them an important mission, and it was to make sure Bei Shishi didn't leave alive no matter the price. The elite disciples finally experienced just how serious this problem was. The five powers were intent on killing all of them. Furthermore, their most important target was Beishishi, that had to contain some secret. TCH, are they trying to stop Beishishi from awakening her primal bloodline? Are they not afraid of the academy's retaliation? Beishishi finally couldn't hold back anymore. Beishishi was his big sister from the same father but different mother. However, he had never called her big sister, nor had she ever called him little brother. There was no close relationship between them. Instead, there was almost a hint of enmity between the two siblings. Primal bloodline? What is that? Asked Long Chen in surprise. In all his books, he had not read anything about that. I'm not sure either. All I know is that transcendent ancestral bloodlines are all called primal bloodlines. It can be considered as the originator of a new bloodline. I heard that Beishishi has three kinds of divine flames. And when she reaches the peak of the divine flame realm and the three flames merge. When she enters the four peak realm. 
she has an 80% chance of awakening a primal bloodline. Those who awaken a primal bloodline will receive the recognition of heaven and earth, and the primal bloodline mark will merge with the heavenly deos, awakening an immortal Tao manifestation. After that, they have the potential to reach the peak of the immortal Tao, said Bei Ziaol. Long Chen's heart shook, was possessing this so-called primal bloodline essentially being an empyrean of the immortal world? But the immortal world's laws were complete, in comparison to the martial heaven continent. If the immortal world gave rise to an empyrean, wouldn't they be completely unstoppable? Beisha she hadn't even awakened her primal bloodline but was already so terrifying. If she did awaken it, she would truly become a monster. Should we report this to Fairy Shishi so she can prepare said Mu King Gaian worriedly. Killing Beisha she isn't so easy. Don't worry, she's very powerful. Even if they join forces, at most they can manage to defeat her. They can't kill her, said Bei Ziaol. Ziaol, you're wrong. If they have the ability to defeat her, they have a way to kill her. Long Chen patted his shoulder. No way, exclaimed Bei Ziaol in shock. It seems that you still care about her. Long Chen smiled. Me, care about her? HMPH, I'd rather worry about myself. Bei Ziaol shook his head. Long Chen. Is Bei Shishi really in danger? Asked Luo Bing gravely. Bei Shishi was the academy's number one expert. If she was killed, that would be a calamity. The five powers had joined forces just to target them. If they lost Bei Shishi, it would be even more difficult to escape from the five powers blockade. There is definitely danger. Although Bei Shishi is powerful, she has a temper and not enough experience. If she was my enemy, then I would trap the Heaven Female Alliance's people and force Beishishi to protect them. By using words to trap her, she will fight to the death. Her weak point is very clear, said Long Chen lightly. Beishishi was extremely arrogant. Although she was powerful and smart, she had always grown up under the protection of the Academy. Hence, she lacked this experience and could easily fall for other people's traps. Then we should quickly reinforce her. Without her, we can't fight the five powers forces, said Luo Bing hastily. It's not so serious. The Jilin immortal land is so big. Finding a single person inside this place is easier said than done. Unless Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Unless there are traitors. Luo Bing instantly understood. She had also been sold out by a traitor back then and almost died to Chu Kuang. We're leaving immediately Long Chen led his group rushing deeper into the Jilin Immortal Land. Chapter 3006 Traitor's Brother San. Why did you suddenly stop? Did you sense something? Asked Mu Qingyan when she saw Long Chen frown. His gaze was darting around. Just six hours before, when Long Chen was leading them in a straight line deep into the Jilin Immortal Land, he suddenly changed direction several times, leaving people feeling lost but no one had said anything. Now that he suddenly stopped, Mu Qingyan couldn't help voicing her concerns. Everyone looked at Long Chen. Someone knows our position and is blocking us, said Long Chen heavily. He sensed danger, but that danger was following them like a shadow. It followed them wherever they went. At first, he only sensed danger from one direction, but now he sensed it from three different directions. That feeling was growing in all three directions. How could that be? exclaimed Luo Bing. We've shut down our communication talismans. Chu Yang can't possibly know our location, said Luo Ning. Due to how far they had gone, they could no longer receive information from the disciples in other groups. The communication talismans had lost their use, so they had turned them off. Without the talismans, others couldn't possibly track their location. Furthermore, they were moving very covertly. Doesn't your Luo family have special communication methods? Asked Long Chen suddenly. No, we just use our bloodline to sense. Could it be? Luo Ning's expression suddenly changed. Test to see if you can sense Luo Qingyang, said Long Chen. Luo Bing nodded. After the Luo family's disciples had their bloodlines awakened, they could sense each other's bloodlines. Although they couldn't communicate directly with that, they could tell each other's general location. In the High Firmament Academy, only three of the Luo family's people had awakened their bloodline, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Luo Qingyang. At this moment, 
Luo Bing activated her bloodline divine ability, and Violet Chi floated out of her. However, her expression quickly changed. I am unable to sense Luo King Gyang's bloodline power. Luo Bing opened her eyes, revealing immense hatred and pain. She almost couldn't believe it. According to reason, in a place like the Jilin Immortal Land, Luo King Gyang couldn't possibly be out of her range. She should be able to sense his location. The moment Long Chen had gathered everyone, she had still been able to sense him. The two of them had not been too far. The reason why she was angry back then was because she felt that Luo King Gyang was definitely close enough to receive the message but didn't want to come, throwing the Luo Alliance into danger. Now that she sensed again, she found that his bloodline power was gone. Even if the Luo family's disciples were killed, this bloodline sensing would remain for at least a few days before fading. For her to no longer be able to sense him, it could only mean that Luo King Gyang was suppressing his bloodline power so that she couldn't sense him. That already said everything that needed to be said. Upon thinking of that, tears even appeared in her eyes. She couldn't accept this reality. Luo King Gyang actually betrayed them due to jealousy. That bastard. Luo Ning clenched her teeth furiously. She didn't cry, and her eyes were full of killing intent. The other disciples of the Luo family also had ugly expressions. Luo King Gyang had actually betrayed the Luo family. Brother San, what can we do now? Asked Mu King Gyan as she comforted Luo Bing. They know our position, but they don't know many people we have. Amongst the forces surrounding us, one of them is dangerous, and we shouldn't clash with them. We will take advantage while they have yet to finish surrounding us to eliminate one of their groups. Then we'll understand what is happening. Long Chen led them around a mountain stream and then suddenly charged in one direction. Past two mountains, they saw a group of over a thousand disciples wearing familiar robes. They were another group of experts from the Clear River Palace. Brothers, you're running so quickly. Are you in a rush to reincarnate? Asked Long Chen. Those experts were startled. They were chasing after Long Chen but didn't expect Long Chen and the others to appear in front of them. Wasn't it said that they only had 400 people? Demanded one of them. Time is pressing. So I won't waste words. I'll send you on your way. Long Chen's side instantly surrounded these experts. And over 3,000 weapons came out of their sheaths and attacked them. Kill. Luo Bing cried out and charged toward their leader. Her sword slashing through the air. Luo Ning followed right behind her. Both of their faces were filled with icy killing intent. Long Chen looked toward Mu King Gyan, and she instantly understood, also joining in against that expert. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were still in an emotional state due to Luo King Gyan's betrayal. So Mu King Gyan went there to prevent the worst case scenario. The three of their moves were very vicious. It was as if they viewed that person as Luo King Gyan. He was slightly stronger than senior apprentice brother Yu, but in the face of these fierce tigresses, he instantly fell to a disadvantage. Most shocking of all was Mu King Gyan as her sword Chi raised goosebumps. They were like three Yama kings, constantly attacking and preventing him from using any big moves. If you have gods, come at me one on one. His furious roar became the last sound he ever made. Luo Ning's sword cut off his head. This pitiful expert, having lost the initiative, failed to even unleash half of his power before being slain. After killing him, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu King Gyan turned on the other experts of the Clear River Palace. Those experts were caught off guard, and with their leader killed, they only thought of how to break free from this encirclement. But these 3,000 elites that Long Chen had picked out wiped them out in less than an incense stick's worth of time. Any fish that slipped through the net were killed by arrows from the archers. Let's go. Once they were slain. He didn't give his people time to clean up the battlefield. Long Chen led them rushing off. Just half an incense stick's worth of time later, another group of people arrived here. Seeing the corpses on the ground, they were shocked. Their leader was a large man wearing golden battle armor. He was like a miniature giant, as he was almost half a body taller than a normal person. Just by standing there, the power of his blood chi caused space to slowly twist around him. Even without intentionally circulating his blood chi, his aura was unbearable. Others had to stay several meters away from him. The ones behind him were all large and muscular men, all of them with astonishing blood chi. 
but next to him, they were like grass compared to a towering tree. There was only one person amongst them who stood out. He was rather skinny in comparison to their large bodies. It was Luo Qingyang. Luo Qingyang, you bastard. You betrayed the Luo family. Even 10,000 deaths can't atone for your sins. Suddenly, Luo Bing's icy voice rang out, causing Luo Qingyang's expression to change. Chapter 3007 Killing Them All Boom. An explosive sound rang out, and a blade swung at the sound, only to land on nothing but air. The next moment, the runes in the sky shattered. It's a spy formation. It's over. She saw me. Luo Qingyang's voice quivered. He was completely terrified. He hated Long Chen. He hated Long Chen for taking the person he loved most. He hated Long Chen to an extent that could no longer be described with words. Luo Bing had been growing more and more distant from him, not letting him see any hope. In his mind, this was all caused by Long Chen. Just a few days before entering the Jilin Immortal Land, Chu Yang had secretly gone to see Luo Qingyang. He gave Luo Qingyang some enticing conditions, so that he would help him eliminate Long Chen. In order to eliminate Long Chen, Luo Qingyang actually agreed. However, he had two conditions. One was to not harm the people from the Luo family, and the other was to keep it absolutely secret. Chu Yang swore on his soul to agree to his conditions. But Luo Qingyang hadn't expected that Chu Yang would use other people to kill Long Chen. Despite that, he still used the Luo family's secret art to help them track down Long Chen. But he hadn't expected Luo Bing to learn what he was doing. Now he was panicked out of his wits. He had originally wanted to form a good relationship with Luo Bing after Long Chen was dead. In the future, they would face Chu Yang together, and that wouldn't count as betraying the family. However, his actions had been discovered by Luo Bing, and this left him dumbfounded. Continue chasing. The towering man snorted. His voice was like a beast's, and he led people after Long Chen's tracks. As for Luo Qingyang, he was ashen and lifeless, being dragged along by the others. Luo Qingyang. Luo Bing gritted her teeth and clenched her fists. Her nails dug into her palm until it bled, but she didn't feel it. Although she was mentally prepared. Seeing Luo Qingyang through the spying formation still caused her anger to explode. She was unable to accept such a betrayal. It wasn't just Luo Bing who was enraged. All the Luo family's disciples were furious. The Luo family cared immensely for the family's glory and reputation, and they would not allow such a thing to occur. Let's kill Luo Qingyang and clean up our family status, said one of the Luo disciples. Long Chen. Are you able to hold up that large fellow? Asked Luo Bing. There was a pleading light in her eyes. As a disciple of the Luo family, cleaning up traitors from their family was a must. Long Chen shook his head. Those are experts from the Golden Bell Gate. That person should be their number one expert. Zhao Wazhang, known as the Glowering Vajra. He gave me a sense of immense pressure. Right now, there are some problems with my body, and I'm not confident in being able to beat him. Even if I manage to stall him, there are no fewer than 10 people in their group on the level of you and King Gaian. If we go, even if you can kill Luo King Gaiang, at most, only 4 people on our side will survive. That large fellow was definitely the number one expert of the Golden Bell Gate. He was said to possess limitless power, and his body couldn't be damaged by blades or spears. Within the same realm, he had never encountered a match for himself. His fame was resounding. He was the one who gave Long Chen the greatest sense of danger. Based on his calculations, this person's power should be on the same level as Bei Shishi. Hearing this, the others sucked in a cold gasp of air. If Zhao Wazhen was so powerful, then fine. But there were at least 10 experts as strong as Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan in their group? That was absolutely terrifying. Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan had only gotten a quick glance through the formation but they could still sense Zhao Wazhang's terrifying aura. However, they hadn't expected there to be so many other powerful experts in their group. Brother San, there's something wrong with your body, asked Mu Qingyan worriedly. The others also looked at him. Long Chen waved his hand. This problem is related to the merger of the Seven Supreme Yang Technique and the Starry River of the Sky Art. It's not important. 
Long Chen had cultivated the seven supreme yang technique and starry river of the sky art in order to cover up the nine star hegemon body art. The fact that he had merged the two had shaken the entire high firmament academy. The actual problem though was that his divine flame realm was different from other people's divine flame realm. He had 108,000 divine flames and was still unable to control such terrifying power. He hadn't expected the power of his 108,000 stars to grow so much. It was too overbearing. When he tried to use it, it almost blew him up. Right now, he was like a titan with a giant sledgehammer smashing walnuts. One mistake and his hammer would strike nothing. Since he had no master to guide him, he could only rely on himself to test out how to use the power of the divine flame realm. He was still getting used to this new power and was unable to reach the level of full control down to the smallest detail. Hence, he didn't dare to raise his cultivation base any higher in this state. If he couldn't even control a one-ton hammer, he definitely wouldn't be able to handle a two-ton hammer. During this period, he had been constantly testing the power of his divine flames. He had an initial control over them, and that was naturally enough to handle ordinary experts. However, against an expert like Zhao Wazhang, he would definitely need to use his full power, but that would be too difficult. Without absolute control, he was worried he wouldn't be able to handle it himself. Then what are we supposed to do now? asked Luo Ning. Aren't we doing it right now? Long Chen smiled. They were currently rushing around randomly, suddenly going left and then right. After passing a large mountain, another group of experts appeared without warning. Kill them all. Long Chen gave the order. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others immediately attacked. With their previous experience, they understood just how important it was to grasp the initiative. They immediately launched sharp attacks. Those experts were caught off guard as Long Chen and the others had appeared out of nowhere. By the time they collected themselves, Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan had started a slaughter. Boom. However, one expert managed to hold Luo Bing back. That person held a spear in his left hand and a shield in his right hand. Both the spear and shield looked as if they were made of gold. Runes flowed over them, and they possessed a shockingly heavy air. Luo Bing was actually at a slight disadvantage. Luo Ning was shocked. This person's reaction speed was very quick, and his power was shocking. That heavy earth aura meant that he was an earth cultivator. Die. His spear shook, and the land quivered. An immense power unfurled. All of a sudden, golden light shot out of his spear, and it stabbed forward with an ear-piercing boom. Luo Bing was shocked. She hadn't expected this person to be so powerful. He was another person disguising themselves as a pig to eat the tiger. Furthermore. His reaction speed was incredible. Even with such a large move, he didn't need to spend much time accumulating power. Luo Ning rushed over, about to work together with her big sister to handle this person. When a black-robed figure appeared in front of them, Long Chen reached out a hand covered in dragon scales. There seemed to be flames ignited, and just like that, he caught the golden spear. After grabbing it, he shoved it back. The spear quivered and slammed into the chest of the wielder, blasting him apart. After he was slain, the remaining experts lost their ability to resist. In just a few breaths time, over 500 people were killed. Once they were killed, Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan led everyone away without pause. But Long Chen stayed behind. He sat on a stone, waiting patiently. Very quickly, he heard a lot of footsteps and smiled. A large figure was reflected in his eyes. The number one expert of the Golden Bell Gate, Zhao Wuzhang, appeared before him. Chapter 3008 Cleaning the Family Seeing Zhao Wuzhang's Body Long Chen suddenly thought of Wild. Wild was even bigger than this guy, but Long Chen didn't know where he was right now. Amongst everyone, he was most worried about that foolish oaf. Long Chen, Zhao Wuzhang was leading a group of over 200 people. Luo Qingyang instantly shouted in delight when he saw Long Chen. Kill him. Kill him. Other than Bei Shishi and Shu Changchun, he's the strongest expert of the High Firmament Academy shouted Luo Qingyang. Zhao Wuzhang looked at Long Chen and frowned. Long Chen's cultivation base was at the initial Divine Flame Realm, and he hadn't even reached the first Heaven stage. Moreover, he looked weak and was wearing tattered black robes. 
Those clothes even had patches covering them. At this moment, he was lazily sitting on a rock, chewing a stalk of grass. He looked more like a beggar than some supreme expert. You are Long Chen, asked Zhao Wazhen coldly. Long Chen didn't reply. Instead, he looked at Luo King Guiang with a hint of pity in his eyes. You weren't stupid before, but your emotions have clouded your vision. My relationship with Luo Bing is completely clear and innocent, and I even expressed my own position to you. But you continued to make things hard on me and pushed yourself into opposing Luo Bing. Now you don't even mind betraying your own family and putting your family's people in danger. Although I feel like you're pitiful, you've really touched the bottom line of a person. Sorry, but I cannot forgive you. What bullshit. You're the one who seduced Luo Bing. She and I were childhood sweethearts, and she only grew astray because of you, shouted Luo King Guiang furiously. Long Chen sighed. Since you're childhood sweethearts, you should understand Luo Bing's character. In her heart, the family's prosperity and glory are above any personal romantic feelings. The family is even more important than her own life in her eyes. If you really loved her, you would not do such a thing to harm her. True love is given, not demanded. Your love for her is simply demanding to obtain her, but not protect her or devote yourself wholeheartedly to support her. Well, fine. I'll give you a chance. Go back with me and apologize to Luo Bing. This is your last chance. I hope that you will grasp it. Ha ha ha. Luo King Guiang laughed. Are you an idiot? Acting like some gentleman. All I want right now is for you to die. Do you think I can go back now? Luo Bing already knows. I can't go back. If you really want to give me a chance, then you'll kill yourself. I already gave you a chance. Don't blame me. Long Chen sighed. He suddenly shot forward like a bolt of lightning at Luo King Guiang. Brat, don't be impudent. Zhao Wazhen roared. Long Chen had ignored him when speaking to Luo King Guiang, treating him as nothing more than empty air. Zhao Wazhen then stepped forward, unleashing a punch. This one punch sealed the entire space up and down, left and right. Although it appeared to be a simple punch, it clearly showed his immense combat experience. Long Chen's palm smashed into his fist, and he instantly felt an immense power pass through. This fist's power was condensed perfectly and only erupted at the moment of contact. His power was truly immense. But when the fist landed, Zhao Wazhen suddenly found that all his power seemed to have landed on a pile of cotton. His arm was drawn in. By the time he reacted, Long Chen had slipped past him and appeared in front of Luo King Guiang. Luo King Guiang was shocked. Not expecting Zhao Wazhen to be unable to stop Long Chen, he hastily retreated, and the two experts beside him also defended him. Boom. With a single punch, Long Chen blasted those two experts away. They let out muffled grunts. No. Luo King Guiang hastily retreated, but he found that even with so many people around him, no one could help him. He then saw Long Chen's icy eyes get closer and closer. The next moment. A palm landed on his body. Bang. Luo King Guiang's body shuddered for a moment before stiffening. The light in his eyes faded. I gave you a chance, but you didn't grasp it. Long Chen shook his head. Although he disliked Luo King Guiang, in the end, the latter was just an infatuated fool. But to use Luo Bing's words, anyone who betrayed the family had to be executed. Even then, Long Chen had made an attempt to save Luo King Guiang's life. If he admitted his mistake to Luo Bing, Long Chen could take responsibility for this. Although the Luo family would punish Luo King Guiang, they wouldn't execute him. Regretfully, his hatred for Long Chen had reached such a level that he only wanted him dead. All Long Chen could do for him was leave him with an intact corpse. He then put away his corpse. But suddenly he felt the world tremble and the land sink. A roar rang out like a god's shout as Zhao Wazhen leaped into the air his blood chi erupting. Long Chen. Die. Zhao Wazhen was infuriated. Luo King Guiang was just a traitor of the academy and unimportant to him, so he didn't care that Luo King Guiang died. However, since Long Chen could kill Luo King Guiang despite him trying to prevent it, that was a slap in his face. Those Golden Bell Gate experts instantly fled when they saw Zhao Wazhen's current state. Those familiar with him knew that they couldn't stick around. You think you can kill me? Long Chen sneered, and he rolled up his sleeve, 
Dragon scales covered his fist. Boom. As their fists smashed together, the mountain beneath them instantly collapsed. Powerful astral winds destroyed the surroundings, and those disciples that fled were struck and coughed up blood. They were sent flying to unknown places Novaloon.com A giant mushroom-shaped cloud of dust exploded, spreading in every direction. In the distance, Luo Bing and the others watched as it bloomed. They were pale with fright. This kind of power had surpassed their current comprehension. Brother San, he he'll be all right, right? Asked Mu Qingyan. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were also stunned. Zhao Wuzhen was definitely a monster. If something happened to Long Chen, there would be no recovery from it. For the family's glory, they had to kill Luo Qingyang, but they were unable to do so. Unable to bear seeing them in such a state, Long Chen made this move to help them clean up their family. Before this, Long Chen had said that he wasn't a match for Zhao Wuzhang. Seeing this terrifying sight, they couldn't help feeling worried and regretful. That fellow really is a tough one. Just as they were getting worried, Long Chen descended from the sky, relieving everyone. Brother San, you're injured, exclaimed Mu Qingyan when she saw Long Chen's bloody arm. Chapter 3009 Deserving 10,000 Deaths Let's Get Going Long Chen waved his hand. Luo Bing and the others hastily followed him. Don't worry, we are both injured. He still doesn't know what the situation is on our side, so it's not likely that he'll chase, said Long Chen. In that exchange, Long Chen had broken his arm, but Zhao Wuzhen also coughed up blood and had his internal organs shaken. That was an even exchange. Long Chen had made everyone leave in order to prevent the other powers from learning more information about them. If another group came over led by an expert like Zhao Wuzhang, then it would be far more troublesome. Zhao Wuzhang is truly terrifying. No wonder he is said to be the number one expert of the Golden Bell Gates Jr. generation, said a guild leader. Although they had been very far, they could witness the aftermath of their exchange clearly. One punch shattered a mountain range. Just how monstrous was that? An expert on that level wasn't someone that they could beat even if they sacrificed all their lives. That was no longer an existence that could be killed through quantity. Ba San is also mighty to be able to injure such an existence. You can be counted amongst their ranks, said another disciple. Just now, they had borne witness to the power of a peak heavenly genius. Although they had all heard that Bei Shishi's power was immense, she rarely revealed herself in the academy so they didn't have a chance to see her power. On the other hand, Long Chen had killed expert after expert after entering the Jilin Immortal Land. He had even forced Chu Yang to the extent that the latter didn't even have a chance to fight back. However, that could be said to be partially multiple coincidences lining up. This time, it was just a simple exchange, and that destructive exchange had shown them what absolute power was. They rejoiced inside that they were following Long Chen. If he hadn't warned everyone, they wouldn't even have a chance to get away if they encountered a group like that. Boss, is Zhao Wuzhen really so powerful? Asked Bei Ziaol, unconvinced. In his heart, no one could win against Long Chen. He truly is powerful. He has two kinds of bloodlines in his body. It should be considered a mutated bloodline, said Long Chen. Although it was just a brief exchange. Long Chen had gotten a general understanding of Zhao Wuzhen's power. That explosive aura of his was not the aura of the human race. Either he had some other race's blood within him, or he had later merged with some terrifying bloodline. Is he as strong as Bei Shishi? Asked Bei Ziaol. In pure destructive power, he should be one level stronger than Bei Shishi, said Long Chen after some thought. Even Fairy Shishi isn't a match for him. Everyone was startled. Long Chen shook his head. Pure destructive power is not everything. If it was a one against one, he wouldn't be able to beat Bei Shishi. Hearing that, they felt a bit more at ease. Bei Shishi was the academy's number one disciple. As long as she remained undefeated, there was still hope for the academy. Boss, what about you and Bei Shishi? Who is stronger? Asked Bei Ziaol. Does asking such things have the slightest meaning? Retorted Long Chen. When this fellow was beaten, he seemed to smarten up a little. Now his head was off again. He, Bei Shishi looks down on men. If you could beat her, you could make her a bed warmer. Make her bring you tea. Wash your clothes. He, think about how great that would be. 
exclaimed Bezaiol. Everyone couldn't help gasping. This fellow's head really wasn't normal. Ignoring how he was encouraging Long Chen to win Beishishi, with her talent and status, who would dare use her as a bed warmer? Long Chen rolled his eyes, speechless. This brother and sister were both oddities. He spat out, I'm not a match for her, so don't think about this any longer. Hearing that, Beisaiol deflated. Then is she going to get what she wants for the rest of her life? Luo Bing and the others shook their heads. Just how great an enmity did this child have with Bei Shishi? After six hours of travel, they found a secluded place to rest. Long Chen then took out Luo King Guiang's corpse. Sorry, I tried my best. Luo Bing shook her head. You gave him a chance, so he could only blame himself. But even if he took that chance, regretting it at that time was too late. The Luo family would not spare him. Seeing Luo King Guiang's corpse, Luo Bing wasn't even aware of it, but she began to cry. This was a person she had grown up with, someone she had viewed as a big brother. Now, he had been turned into a lifeless corpse. Although she hated him, she couldn't feel that hatred now that she saw his corpse. The other disciples of the Luo family also cried, even though they had previously felt overwhelming hatred for him when they learned of his betrayal. His current state aggrieved them. After a bit, they placed his corpse at the center. They began a ceremony, walking around his corpse three times and murmuring something. After that, Luo Ning unleashed a flame that burned his corpse to ash. Those ashes were then scattered in a nearby river. According to Luo Ning, Luo King Guiang was a traitor of the Luo family, a disgrace. His corpse could not be buried in the family grave, and his soul could not enter the memorial tablet. He had to be turned to ash and sent through a river to wash away his disgrace. Seeing how strict the Luo family was with its rites, the disciples' hearts shook. No wonder the Luo family was so powerful, and its disciples were so united. After resting a bit, Long Chen's wounds healed, and the disciples who had gone through two large battles also recovered. Luo Bing said that using a secret art of the family, she had checked Luo King Guiang's spiritual memories. She had learned that the Luo Alliance's disciples were hidden in a certain location. As a result, they went over to gather with them, only to find that this hidden cave only had broken corpses inside. Luo Bing and the other disciples of the Luo family cried out in grief. It was Chu Yang. Long Chen checked the battlefield and found that this was done by one person. Chu Yang's bloodline aura still hung in the air. Luo King Guiang deserves 10,000 deaths. Luo Ning's eyes reddened. Any grief she had felt for Luo King Guiang vanished without a trace. Seeing how all these disciples of the Luo family had been killed because of his foolishness, she had an urge to gather his ashes and pulverize them again. Clearly, Luo King Guiang had been tricked by Chu Yang. When he went to lead the way for Zhao Wuzhang, Chu Yang snuck in here and killed the Luo family's disciples. Luo Bing knelt on the ground and wept. There were many senior apprentice brothers and sisters here that she knew. Many of them had even looked after her, but they were now dead because of Luo King Guiang's foolishness. After letting her cry for a while, Long Chen consoled her. We have no time for grief right now. What we need to do is get revenge for them. We can't let them die for nothing. If the Luo family's disciples died on the battlefield, then they would simply be weaker than their opponents and there would be nothing to say. But these people died for nothing. Luo Ning wept and even she felt like she was about to collapse. Long Chen sighed. He had previously pitied Luo King Guiang, but his foolishness had killed so many innocent people. Luo Bing's crying only grew worse and worse. Eventually, Long Chen placed a hand on the back of Luo Bing's head, causing her to fall unconscious. If she continued to blame herself and feel worse, it might form a heart devil. Luo Ning, look after her. The other disciples of the Luo family, Gather the corpses of these warriors. We still have many things to do. If you want them to be able to smile in the Nine Springs, then kill Chu Yang as vengeance for them. After gathering the corpses, with heavy hearts, everyone continued deeper into the Jilin Immortal Land. The next day, Long Chen suddenly led everyone to a desolate land. An hour later, they saw a battlefield. Bei Shishi fought with people here. Chapter 3010-9 Cauldron Churches Lu Chun Yang A massive area of destruction was present within a winding mountain range. 
Within the dirt were some golden fragments that looked like a layer of golden powder. These golden fragments were something that Long Chen had seen before. They were Bei Shishi's metal energy. She could draw out the metal energy of the land, but that metal energy could only be used by her, not absorbed. Thus, after the battle, that pure metal energy sank back into the land, while these little fragments simply dispersed. A terrifying pressure remained on the battlefield. Ordinary people would feel like their skin was being stabbed just by getting close. Once they approached the core of the battlefield, a portion of these people were unable to endure it and had to pause. Any further and they would be injured. They were shocked inside. Was this the true power of peak experts? They didn't even have the power to set foot on their battlefield. Long Chen then brought Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others into the core of the battlefield. He picked up a fist-sized lump of gold, and it immediately fell apart into golden sand. This battle occurred three days ago, and the opponent was an earth element expert. The metal energy here isn't pure. It's mixed with sand. The other side came prepared specifically to counter Bei Shishi, said Long Chen gravely. Then isn't Bei Shishi in danger? Asked Luo Ning. No. All the blood belongs to the other side. The Heaven Female Alliance wasn't harmed. Most likely, Bei Shishi sensed the opponents and sent the Heaven Female Alliance away first so that she could face them alone. In this battle, the metal energy suppressed the earth energy. Clearly, the one to suffer was not Bei Shishi, said Long Chen. Hearing this, Luo Bing and the others were relieved. Bei Shishi was truly worthy of being the High Firmament Academy's number one expert. On her own, she had managed to drive off their enemies. Amongst the people we know of, only the Nine Cauldron Church's number one expert is a terrifying earth cultivator. It seems that he's the one chasing her down, said Luo Bing. The impact of Luo Qingyang and the Luo Alliance's disciples' deaths had been a large blow to her, but she suppressed that grief for now. That seems to be the case. The Nine Cauldron Church's master is also an earth cultivator, with many earth cultivators in their sect Lu Chunyang is their number one expert of the junior generation. Only he would dare to chase after her, but he clearly overestimated himself and underestimated Bei Shishi. If my guess is correct, if it weren't for their numbers, Bei Shishi might have managed to slay Lu Chunyang, said Long Chen. Everyone nodded. With Bei Shishi's arrogant character, being hunted by others would be a huge provocation. She would definitely kill them. Through an investigation, the marks on the battlefield seemed to confirm Long Chen's words. There were marks of a group fleeing in a panic, and that showed that Bei Shishi had scared them off. However, she hadn't pursued them. Once her enemies ran, she also left. It was unknown if the reason was because she was worried about her subordinate safety, so she chose not to give chase. I wonder who is stronger, Zhao Wazheng or Lu Chunyang, said Luo Ning curiously. It should be Zhao Wazheng. Although we only clashed with our physical power, a simple probing exchange. This fellow's foundation runs deep. He gave me a large sense of pressure, said Long Chen after a moment's thought. Hearing that, everyone felt a chill. Only a probing blow relying on pure physical power had caused such terrifying aftermath. Then what about a full power attack? Looking at this vast, ruined battlefield, these disciples felt a profound feeling of powerlessness. The power disparity was too great. What we should do right now is find Bei Shishi as fast as possible. If she is killed, we will be in even greater danger, said Long Chen. They continued rushing deeper into the Jilin Immortal Land. After finding Bei Shishi's battlefield, things became much easier. Bei Ziyol had a kind of spatial divine art to track Bei Shishi's metal energy. This was not a bloodline divine ability. Bei Shishi and Bei Ziyol only had the same father but both of their individual bloodline divine abilities came from their mothers. Perhaps it was due to this that the two didn't feel very close. Originally, Bei Ziyol didn't want to find Bei Shishi. He encouraged Long Chen to go find Lu Chunyang. As long as he killed the latter, that would be a slap in Bei Shishi's face. If someone that Bei Shishi hadn't managed to kill was instead killed by Long Chen, that would be amazing. However, he didn't dare to go against Long Chen's orders, so he led them after Bei Shishi. On the way, Long Chen felt that things were off. Bei Shishi seemingly didn't encounter any other experts on her path. 
Was it that the other side was gathering their forces? Or was it that they were injured from the last clash and were recovering? After a full day and night of traveling, Long Chen suddenly sensed something. He looked in a certain direction and saw a pile of ruins. According to Bei Ziaol, Bei Shishi was in that direction as well. Long Chen led them rushing over. They saw the remains of many ancient sects on the way, but they didn't bother checking them for treasures. Bei Shishi also hadn't checked those areas on her way. She seemed to have been rushing straight here. These ruins were so damaged that there was no way to tell what they had looked like before. However, it seemed that it had once been a flourishing sect Long Chen then led everyone carefully through these ruins. He seemed to be sensing something and was looking around as he walked. Suddenly, he knelt and pushed aside a rock. The rock fell to the ground and raised a wave of dust. Behind the rock was a broken corner of a sign. The disciples quickly helped him excavate what he had found. They dug up a broken board hundreds of meters long, and there were two ancient immortal characters written on it. Luo Bing and the others didn't recognize it. These immortal characters were very different from the immortal characters that they had studied. Starry River, Long Chen recognized them. They were the same style as the Starry River of the Sky Artie had learned. Even after continuing to investigate, no one could find the complete board. Long Chen shook his head. This board was already broken. This large piece had been partially protected through time by the runes on it, but the smaller pieces had probably completely decayed. This is probably the remains of the Starry River Sages Dao Path. Bei Shishi actually came here. They knew that Bei Shishi had come here, but this place was too big for them to pinpoint her location. Furthermore, if they could track her to here, then perhaps others could also find this place. Long Chen told everyone to suppress their auras and carefully continue searching the ruins. This place didn't seem any smaller than the High Firmament Academy. The damaged buildings and broken walls seemed to say that a large battle had occurred here. However, so much time had passed that the buildings had already eroded, making it impossible to see what they were supposed to look like, let alone find any corpses. Long Chen suddenly raised his hand, having everyone go silent. Just as they were puzzled, a flying boat suddenly appeared in the sky, and a group of people walked off. When they saw those robes, Luo Bing and the others were shocked. The Clear River Palace, Chapter 3011 The Hand Behind the Scenes Everyone, lower your heads, don't look. Long Chen suddenly sent a message to everyone. While they didn't understand, they followed his instructions. They didn't look at that flying boat. Just as they lowered their heads, a person walked off of the flying boat. It was Chu Yang. Although they were extremely far from the flying boat, if Luo Bing and the other disciples of the Luo family saw him after he had just killed the Luo family's disciples, then no matter how they controlled themselves, their killing intent would flare. That would instantly expose them to Chu Yang. Along with Chu Yang were two others, one wearing the robes of the Clear River Palace, and the other wearing a black cloak. That Clear River Palace's expert was covered in mist, and the water energy of the world instantly grew lively wherever he went. He was an absolutely terrifying water cultivator. As for the one in the black cloak, he was tall and skinny, but the hood of the cloak covered most of his face. The most shocking thing was that even though he was clearly standing there and visible, it was impossible to sense any aura from him. Blood Kill Hall. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. He instantly recognized that person's status because his body had a very dense aura of a god. Perhaps others couldn't sense that aura but it was like a lantern in the dark to Long Chen. He had fought against the Blood Kill Hall the entire time in the lower plane. If it wasn't for Imputa's pleading and Dong Mingyu being raised by them, he would have pulled out the Blood Kill Hall and crushed it down from its roots. At that time, he hadn't realized that the Blood Kill Hall was the dog of the Nine Underworld Hall. They were all Lord Brahma's subordinates. If he had known this back then, he would have completely wiped them out. However, later on, Long Chen also grew curious. If Imputa was Lord Brahma's dog, then he should have recognized Long Chen's status when they encountered each other. If that was the case, the nine underworld hunters would have been sent after him long ago. That was something that he was still befuddled by even now. Seeing the three of them together, Long Chen was essentially sure who that person covered in water chi was. It was the Clear River Palace's number one expert, Zishai Anayu. 
The pressure he gave Long Chen was about the same as Zhao Wuzhang. However, the cloaked figure didn't seem to exist in this world. He seemed to pass through it, hidden. What a terrifying assassin. He was an even greater threat than Chu Yang, Zhao Wuzhang, or any of the others. Brother Xi'an Iu, we've inspected the surroundings. Bei Shishi should be in this vicinity, said Chu Yang. As expected, Long Chen's guess was correct. This person was the number one expert of the Clear River Palace's junior generation, that pig Lu Chunyang. We already told him that Bei Shishi was very powerful and that we were supposed to gather before attacking her together, but he refused to listen. He even alerted her to the danger, ignoring how Bei Shishi almost cut off his head due to his foolishness. He even exposed the spies that Brother Chu arranged. Otherwise, we wouldn't be forced to waste so much time running around like headless flies, said Zixian Iu. His tone was not at all polite toward Lu Chunyang. In fact, he seemed infuriated with him. I also underestimated Bei Shishi. Even now, I don't know how she managed to pluck out the spies I set up. There were three eyes I put in the Heaven Female Alliance and none of them knew each other's existence. But after her fight with Lu Chunyang, she managed to figure out who all of them were. That woman is not as simple as she seems, said Chu Yang. Long Chen was surprised. So Bei Shishi was quite capable. After that battle, she immediately sensed something was off and eliminated the spies in her group. Just like Chu Yang, Long Chen had thought her to be lacking experience and too arrogant to think of such a thing. This place is too big. So I've already told everyone to gather here. We'll shrink our encirclement. The five powers have over six million experts. Bei Shishi couldn't escape even if she grew wings, said Zixian Iu. Bei Shishi is on guard now, without any spies. That's all we can do. However, I still feel a bit uneasy. There's still no news from Long Chen. That fellow is crafty. So I am worried about him ruining our plan, said Chu Yang. Long Chen had the high firmament sacred tablet and had even killed Chu Hua Iron. This alarmed him a bit. Long Chen is nothing more than a lower plane ascender. Even if his talent isn't bad, he's nothing to us. Our mission is to kill Bei Shishi, and Long Chen is your own personal grievance to deal with. I don't want such a minor thing to cause this mission to fail. You should know that none of us can bear the consequences of such a thing. If we fail. The five powers will have no way to explain themselves to Divine Venerate Brahma. At that time, the wrath of a Divine Venerate will exterminate all of us, said Zishayan Iu seriously Novaloon.com Chu Yang. We're all working for the Divine Venerate. I know you want to kill that little fellow. During normal times, we would definitely help you with our full power. But now we have a more important mission. This mission supersedes everything, said the cloaked expert. Junior brother understands. For you two big brothers, killing Bei Shishi is nothing more than raising your hand and clenching. After we kill Bei Shishi, I won't need you to fight. As long as you can help me surround Long Chen so he can't run away, I will personally kill him. Chu Yang cupped his fists toward them. That will naturally be no problem. Zixian Iu and the cloaked expert both nodded. Then many thanks. When this junior brother fights for the family head position, I hope that you can also help me out a bit. Once I become the family head, I definitely won't forget you, said Chu Yang, striking while the iron was hot. The two of them directly agreed, delighting him. Examining their surroundings, the three of them set off for a secluded place and hid themselves. At this distance, Long Chen couldn't hear their words. Fortunately, he could read lips and knew the contents of what they were saying. No wonder the five powers would do this. So they were all dogs of Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma truly was powerful. Apparently, he controlled a third of the forces within the immortal world's nine heavens and ten lands. Furthermore, some of his forces were still hidden. For example, the fact that the Chu family was devoted to Lord Brahma was known to the outside world now. But the five powers that had entered the Jilin immortal world being Lord Brahma's followers was a secret. It was said that the High Firmament Academy had been visited countless times by Lord Brahma's believers, but the Academy was unmoved by force or persuasion. They refused to join Lord Brahma's side. It was even said that they had been threatened by people beneath Lord Brahma. For the five powers to join forces to kill Bei Shishi here, 
it was clear that they were intent on stopping the High Firmament Academy from rising. They wanted the High Firmament Academy to slowly decline. Long Chen then brought Luo Bing and the others away. He wanted to go around Chu Yang's group. But suddenly, Bei Xiaol found a path within the ruins. Bei Shishi entered this place one day ago. Long Chen and the others were delighted that Bei Xiaol sensed Bei Shishi's aura. They hastily rushed down the path. Chapter 3012 Ancient corpses Everyone entered the path and carefully covered it up behind them. The entrance to this path was very well hidden. If it wasn't for Bei Xiaol's special divine ability, they wouldn't have noticed it. Upon entering the path, Long Chen found that it seemed to be a corridor that had been covered by earth, causing it to become an underground passageway. As they were walking between the walls, they could see murals all around them. But due to the immense time that had passed, the murals were too faded to be depicted. The passageway was covered in cracks, as if it might collapse at any moment. There were new footprints though, indicating that Bei Shishi and the others had passed through this place. Wait. Long Chen suddenly raised his hand, causing everyone to stop. He squatted down and looked at the ground. There was a small thread thinner than a person's hair in the dusty dirt, let alone someone not paying attention. Even if you were to look carefully, you might easily miss it. The Heaven Female Alliance's people aren't bad. They actually know how to set up mechanisms. Long Chen smiled. This thread was hidden perfectly within the messy footprints, so it was very difficult to notice. If it weren't for Long Chen's sense of danger, he also wouldn't have noticed it. Take note of this thread. Don't touch it. Long Chen didn't break the mechanism. Instead, he made a mark and had everyone carefully pass it. Only once everyone was passed did Long Chen remove his mark. Using his spiritual strength, he was surprised to find that he wasn't even able to tell where this thread led to or what kind of mechanism it might trigger. However, if he could sense danger, it definitely wasn't lacking in power. It seemed that he had underestimated the Heaven Female Alliance. The number one guild of the High Firmament Academy was truly full of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. After they passed through as well, the footprints grew even more chaotic. If people came after them, they would be able to easily tell that two groups of people had passed through. Also, as they wouldn't suspect there to be any traps, there was a very high chance of anyone who followed them running into it. They found two more traps that Long Chen avoided. The further they went, the more intact the stone walls became. However, most of the murals had been destroyed by some tools. It seemed that those ancient people were concealing something. After traveling a while further, Long Chen suddenly squatted down and picked up a thumb-sized bone. This bone was eroded and full of tiny holes. It was as if just lightly touching it would turn it to dust. What's that? Asked Luo Bing curiously. It's a crystal bone from a devil creature. Although it's badly damaged, you can vaguely see the devil creature's runes on it. It should be on the level of a king, said Long Chen, closely examining it. A devil king. Luo Bing and the others were shocked. Luo Ning couldn't help saying, isn't it said that once they reach the level of a devil king, a devil creature's body can be likened to divine weapons, and the crystal bone will be blessed with the same longevity as heaven and earth, never aging or decaying. This was why Luo Bing and the others were so shocked. Even a devil king's crystal bone, said to be undying and undecaying, had turned into this state. Then just how old was this place? Long Chen shook his head. That so-called never aging or decaying is based on the human race's lifespan. In this world, Anything that has a form will eventually decay. So that's why there are no corpses here in these ruins. They eroded a long time ago, said Mu Qingyan. Long Chen continued leading the way. The path grew wider and wider until they reached a fork. Now, there were three paths to choose from. Bei Shishi and the other's footprints led to the leftmost path. Just as they were going to follow those footprints, Long Chen said, These footprints are fake. That startled everyone. How could these footprints be fake? Luo Bing and the others stared and couldn't see anything off. Brother San, what's going on? Asked Mu Qingyan. Long Chen sighed. You are all lacking experience in this regard. I'll give you a lesson. Look at their footprints and tell me what the difference is between their footsteps and ours. Everyone compared but still didn't notice anything different. They were lost. It seems that our footsteps are a bit messier compared to theirs. 
their footprints might be a bit clearer? I don't know if I'm right or not, said Mu Qingyan hesitantly. Smart. You are correct. Bei Shishi and the others definitely have a way to find the correct path after coming here. However, in order to prevent themselves from being trapped, they had people walk on that path first. After a certain length, those people retraced their steps. They stepped into their own footprints. So naturally they appear different from when people are just casually walking. Most likely, there is another trap at the end of that path. The reason the Heaven Female Alliance could become the Academy's number one guild is definitely not due to coincidence. They have capable people amongst their ranks, said Long Chen. Hearing this, people felt a chill on their backs. This kind of trap setting was frightening. If they didn't have Long Chen leading the way, they probably would have been wiped out on the very first trap. Both Bei Shishi and Long Chen's scheming went far deeper than they dreamed. Compared to the two of them, they were like idiots. It seemed that it wasn't just combat power that they were lacking compared to real experts. Ziaol, sense her again, said Long Chen. As expected, when Bei Ziaol used his divine ability, they quickly determined which path she had gone to. It was the middle path. But how are we supposed to go without leaving footprints? That would ruin Bei Shishi's trap. No, asked Luo Bing. He, that isn't a problem for me, Bei Ziaol. Just leave it to me said Bei Ziaol confidently. His spatial divine ability could transport people, albeit only for a short distance. First, Long Chen led a few people down the left path to imitate that a second group had gone in that direction for any pursuers. Otherwise, it would be far too obvious that something was up. After that, Bei Ziaol formed hand seals, and space twisted around them. They felt like they had entered a transportation formation. They were then sent far into the middle path, and they once more saw Bei Shishi and the other's footprints. Good job. Long Chen patted Bei Ziaol's shoulder. Bei Ziaol's face was deathly white. Just now, he had expended a huge amount of energy to bring them along. However, his face lit up again when he obtained Long Chen's praise. Luo Bing and the others also praised Bei Ziaol. His spatial divine ability was truly amazing. The other aspect was that Bei Ziaol was like a child and liked being praised, especially such direct praise. That was because indirect praise was something that he might not understand. Everyone's praise made Bei Ziaol so happy he couldn't stop smiling. He very much enjoyed this feeling. Following the path forward, they no longer encountered any traps. It seemed that Bei Shishi and the others were confident in their traps and no longer felt the need to place more. Suddenly, the space ahead of them widened, and they arrived in a giant palace hall. But as soon as they entered this place, everyone let out a grunt. It felt like their souls were being pulled out of their bodies. Long Chen's gaze instantly sharpened. He saw countless corpses within the hall, and the pressure from those corpses was what made people's souls feel like they were being torn apart. Just at this moment, Rays of Sword Chi collapsed on them from every direction. Chapter 3013 Splitting the Treasury? We're on your side. Stop. Long Chen shouted in the face of this sharp sword chi. The sword chi suddenly vanished. After that, some runes shuddered, and a dozen women appeared around them. So you have a formation expert too. Truly skillful. Long Chen was surprised. These people had hidden themselves in the air with the formation. The Heaven Female Alliance was truly a group of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. Long Chen. Those women eyed Long Chen their expressions turning cold. This place was first discovered by the Heaven Female Alliance. Please leave. Clearly, the Heaven Female Alliance viewed this place as their territory. They were unwilling to share the spoils with anyone, not even fellow disciples of the Academy. TCH. How laughable. This place is surrounded by the other five major powers. Over six million experts are coming to take Bei Shishi's head. You're actually in the mood to play such a game. Sneered Bei Ziaol disdainfully. What did you say? Those disciples were shocked. Bei Ziaol continued. What did I say? Are your ears broken? We received information and came to save you. But instead of being grateful, you want to drive us away. Women really are stupid. Cough. Of course. I'm not talking about big sisters King Guyan, Luo Bing, and Luo Ning. I'm talking about the people by Bei Shishi's side. Bei Ziaol wasn't afraid of Bei Shishi. 
Her sister never gave him a good impression, so he never had a good attitude toward her either. However, today, he ended up drawing in all women in his insults, causing him to hastily apologize. HMPH, even if the five powers join forces, our heaven female alliance isn't afraid. We don't need the help of you men. Those disciples were infuriated by Baziol's arrogance. Senior apprentice sisters, we Luo Bing tried to interject, but Long Chen stopped her. It's fine. We just came to inform them. We have accomplished our mission. Whether or not they listen is their own matter. They can play with their own lives. We should focus on ourselves. Long Chen was also angry. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples seemed to be a bit too arrogant. They didn't even recognize kindness. Hence, Long Chen prepared to leave with his people. As for Bei Shishi and the others, it had nothing to do with them. Slow down. Just at this moment, space shuddered and Bei Shishi appeared. This place was originally filled with a sinister and dark air of decay. But when she appeared, she was like a goddess infecting this place with her light. It was like she had walked out of a painting, and the people behind Long Chen forgot how to breathe. Bei Shishi's beauty was something that not even women could resist. Although most of them had seen her before, it had definitely not been at such a close distance. It felt both real and illusory, as if they were in a dream. You said that the five powers have joined forces to kill me, asked Bei Shishi. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples stood behind her. Even Long Chen felt his heartbeat quickening when Bei Shishi stared at him like this, but he couldn't be suppressed by her aura. Otherwise, he would only be looked down upon by her. With a calm face, he said, I can't be bothered to say it. Ziaol, you explain. Train your communication skills. Bei Ziaol shook his head. Boss, I have nothing to say to her. Forgive me for being unable to follow your orders. You, Long Chen didn't answer, and Bei Ziaol refused to speak. That rudeness enraged the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples. What you? We are your saviors. But look at how you treat us? No wonder everyone says that women are let me explain Luo Bing hastily interjected, explaining everything. Upon learning that the five powers had joined forces to wipe out the High Firmament Academy's disciples in the Jilin Immortal Land, killing intent surged within Bei Shishi's eyes. If I had known this, I wouldn't have shown mercy. I'd have killed that idiot Lu Chunyang, said Bei Shishi hatefully. Back then, Lu Chunyang had provoked her angering her. However, she had only been intent on giving him a lesson. She had injured him and chased him for a while, killing a few hundred of the Nine Cauldron Church's experts. At that time, she felt like the lesson was enough, and she was also worried about the others, so she didn't continue chasing. Should we charge out while their encirclement is still incomplete? If we're surrounded by millions of experts as well as the peak experts of the Five Powers, We'll probably lose out, said the vice leader of the Heaven Female Alliance. She was wise and experienced, and her opinion was something Beisha she cared about. Furthermore, she said lose out, not be completely wiped out. That was due to her respect for Beisha she. She knew that Beisha she was prideful, and if she was provoked, she might just go for an all-out clash with the other side. That's right, killing our way out now is best. We'd take the initiative into our hands and then we'd be the one hunting them down, said another disciple of the Heaven Female Alliance. Everyone looked at Bei Shishi who frowned slightly. After thinking about it, she suddenly turned to Long Chen. I have to thank you for reporting this to me. This is our best chance to charge out, but I just found the location of the treasury in these ruins. I'm a bit unwilling to leave just like this. I want to take the risk and see if I can obtain the treasures inside. If you are willing to take this risk with me, I can split the treasures with you evenly. Long Chen's expression was originally calm, but when he heard that there was a treasury, his eyes brightened. He seemed to become invigorated. Ah, who cares about treasures? We're all from the same sect, and should be united. Helping each other is only natural. Talking about treasures will only harm our relationship. Well, the main thing is that all of us like taking risks. Long Chen's completely hypocritical words didn't match the expression on his face. Clearly, he was more interested in this treasury than them. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples looked at Long Chen scornfully. This person was so hypocritical. Min Jun, 
Continue guarding this place. If the other side enters the path, immediately report it, said Beishishi. Yes, those disciples once more vanished into space, concealing themselves. Come with me. Be careful not to touch any of those corpses. They are earth devil kings from the immemorial devil race. If you touch them, the remnant devil pressure will wipe out your soul. Beishishi carefully led the way through those corpses, heading toward the center of the hall. Chapter 3014 Jiuli Immortal Characters There were hundreds of corpses scattered throughout the hall. They were withered but hadn't rotted. They were simply dried corpses. They were humanoid in form, but they had a horn on their head similar to a rhinoceros. The immense pressure filling this hall came from those horns. After so many years, even divine weapons would corrode. But these corpses were still intact. That was enough to show just how terrifying devil kings were. It was hard to imagine just how powerful they were when they were alive. However, even such terrifying existences had died here. Furthermore, there wasn't the slightest mark on any of their bodies. The way they died was very strange. As they carefully went around the corpses, Beishishi led them to the throne. Behind it was a giant statue. The statue was 300 meters tall. It was an elder sitting lotus style and forming hand seals. His eyes were half closed, and there seemed to be divine light moving within them. On top of his head was a starry river. This was the only completely intact existence within this hall. It was unknown just how many tens of thousands of years had passed here. There was dust everywhere, but only this statue remained untouched by dust. It was as if it had passed through countless years untouched. They even sensed a sharp domineering air from it. The starry river sage. Long Chen's heart shook. He felt a strange sense of familiarity when he looked at this statue. However, he didn't know if this sense of familiarity came from the starry river of the sky art or the nine star hegemon body art. Correct. He is the starry river sage. The creator of the starry river of the sky art. He was an illustrious figure having left behind many Tao doctrines throughout various lands of the immortal world. Who would have thought that the Jilin immortal land was actually his birthplace? Beishishi nodded. She herself had jumped in shock when she first saw this statue. The Starry River Sage was an extremely famous existence, and this statue was his inheritance statue. The reason it was untouched by dust was because his Tao doctrines had yet to be lost. So faith energy was still constantly flowing here. Perhaps that was why this palace and other things related to the Starry River Sage managed to be preserved. Beishishi led them behind the statue. There was a staircase that actually led into the statue here. Within the statue was a spirit pool. However, it had already dried up. All that remained was a bead at the core of the spirit pool, and mist swirled inside of the bead. Long Chen could sense pure faith energy inside of it. This was the core of the divine statue and all its faith energy was condensed inside of the bead. Just at that moment, Long Chen was shocked to find a skeleton on the side of the spirit pool. Those bones sparkled like jade and were covered in runes. However, the skeleton's posture was a bit strange. Its hands were in front of its chest. Long Chen then looked at Bei Shishi, and she took out a bone book and handed it to him. This was what it was holding. I can't read what is written here. Long Chen received the bone book that was extremely heavy and cold. At this moment, he felt his soul shake. He didn't know what material this bone book was made of, but it was absolutely terrifying. However, if the bone book wasn't this powerful, then it probably wouldn't have managed to last after all this time. Long Chen looked at it and was startled. Jiuli Immortal Characters Jiuli Immortal Characters were one of the most ancient characters in the immortal world. The human race's history was split into the current era, ancient era, archaic era, immemorial era, desolate era, and the primal chaos era. The Jiuli immortal characters were created by the Jiuli race in the desolate era. The current era referred to the past million years, and its historical records were very clear. As for the ancient era, it referred to 1 million to 10 million years ago, and although there were historical records about it, Many versions of the records were spread all over the world. There were several different records of the same matter, making it impossible to determine the truth. As for the archaic era, that referred to 10 million to 100 million years ago, the history of this period was even more tangled and complicated. There was no longer any way to determine the truth of many of the things that came from that period. 
the immemorial era and the desolate era's history were practically just vague concepts. They couldn't be calculated based on years. It was only in the immemorial era that the human race set foot on the path of cultivation. Also, the cultivation techniques and battle skills of that time were all primitive and embryonic. Due to how much time had passed, everything was vague. The desolate era was said to be a lawless time. The human race was still at the bottom of the food chain. There were no written records, only some murals that showed how difficult life was for the human race back then. As for the Giuli race, they had their own symbols passed down from generation to generation, which eventually developed through countless years. By the immemorial era, the symbols became a written language and were called Giuli immortal characters. Considering their ancient history that developed from ancient symbols, sometimes a single character could represent an entire inheritance. It could even be a bloodline symbol. Those primitive Giuli immortal characters could not be read by people in the current era. Furthermore, after another era, when the human race entered the archaic era, the Giuli immortal characters once more transformed. That was the third generation of Giuli immortal characters. As for the current immortal world's immortal characters, they were the seventh generation. In this era, those who could read sixth generation Giuli immortal characters were very rare, let alone the third generation. That was why Beishishi couldn't recognize them. You can read them. Now it was Beishishi's turn to be shocked. The immortal characters had changed, and to go back generation after generation in an attempt to learn them was extremely taxing. Even Beishishi, who had once focused on learning these characters, had only learned them up to the fifth generation. She truly didn't have the time or energy to learn the fourth generation characters. As for these Giuli immortal characters, she could barely recognize them to be of the third generation, but she didn't know a single one of them. She was truly shocked. I know a bit, said Long Chen. Can you read it? asked Bei Shishi. It shouldn't be a problem. Long Chen read through the contents before slowly saying, Calamity has struck today. The Starry River sect cannot escape this tribulation. The sect master died in battle, and every single one of our experts has perished. I drew our enemies to the ancestral palace, using my blood soul to activate the Starry River Grand Formation to wipe them out along with myself. The Morning Dao world will now fall within the cracks of the 10,000 worlds. Disciple is too unworthy and powerless to restore the Starry River inheritance. I feel regret, pity, and hatred. If the heavens are assisting the Starry River sect, then someone brought here by destiny can inherit the Starry River legacy. Using my bones, open the underground gate and subdue the heaven merging stone spirit the characters ended there. This person had clearly not finished writing before dying. As soon as Long Chen was done reading, the ancient bone book in his hand turned to dust that slowly dissipated until it was gone. Jiuli immortal characters are truly terrifying. That bone was not some powerful existence. It was the characters that preserved it, said Long Chen, sighing. Legend was that the most primeval Jiuli immortal characters could allow one to see through the mysteries of heaven and earth, to reach an undying realm and never age. For even third generation Jiuli immortal characters to have such power, it seemed that this legend was not completely unfounded. Let's go down. After a moment's shock, Beishishi instructed people to take that person's skeleton. They followed the path down below the divine statue. Chapter 3015 Heaven Merging Stone Spirit Following the Path Down It was unknown just how far they went, but they suddenly heard a strange sound. That sound was light, and yet it made their hearts violently clench. Everyone's expressions changed. What is that? It rang out once more. That sound was even clearer this time. Everyone's hearts once more clenched. It seems to be a heartbeat. Long Chen was truly shocked. It most definitely sounded like a heartbeat. A heartbeat. For even the sound of a heart beating to be so unbearable. What kind of terrifying life form was it? Bei she was also shocked. She hadn't expected such a terrifying existence to appear underground. Everyone carefully continued forward. A portion of people were unable to endure it and felt like their hearts would jump out of their chests. They no longer dared to continue pressing forward. Long Chen ordered them to return to the surface, while the rest continued onwards. It went without saying that the Heaven Female Alliance's experts were truly powerful. 
Even though over a thousand people on Long Chen's side were already unable to bear it, not one of those women retreated. As they continued, the sound of the heartbeat grew louder, and they found it even harder to breathe. It felt as if their organs would be crushed. As a result, on Long Chen's side, only about 20 people were able to continue. Those 20 people included Bei Ziaol, Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and Li Kei. As for Bei Shishi's side, they were now down to just over a hundred people. The rest all returned to the surface. They finally arrived at a giant stone gate. There was a circular design on the gate. Long Chen and the others were pondering how to open it when a ray of light shot out of the circular design and illuminated the skeleton's head. A divine mark appeared on the skull, reflecting with that divine light. Following that, the stone gate began to tremble intensely. The stone gate slowly opened. As it opened, the mark on the skull also faded. Once it fully vanished, the entire skeleton turned dim and seemed to go through countless years of erosion, transforming into dust. Long Chen sighed inside. This person should be the final member of the Starry River sect. He had to know many secrets but hadn't had a chance to write those secrets down before dying. The starry river sky was destroyed. This person was filled with hatred over this, and through his last remains, he planted the seed of vengeance. This was quite similar to a nine-star heir. However, as a nine-star heir, Long Chen still didn't know just who he was supposed to find vengeance on. He even doubted whether he was a true nine-star heir. He didn't even have the complete inheritance. When the door opened, the sound of the heartbeat grew even louder. Now it was like a star was repeatedly striking. Luo Bing and the others almost coughed up blood. They had to unleash all their power just to resist it. Bei Shishi and Long Chen walked through together. Everyone else carefully followed behind them. 300 meters further, they saw a large fighting ring. Standing at the edge of that fighting ring that was hundreds of miles long, they felt as tiny as ants. This fighting ring was already badly damaged with holes all over. At the center of it was a 300-meter giant lying on the ground. Their entire body was covered in stone-like skin. Their stomach was still slowly rising and falling, as if they were sleeping. That terrifying heartbeat sound was coming from it. With every heartbeat, the fighting ring shuddered. Suddenly, a piece of stone on the edge of the fighting ring fell to the ground, transforming into a pile of broken bits. The insides of those fragments were golden with blood-colored lines throughout them. It's actually Phoenix blood sand gold. This entire fighting ring was made out of the best immortal materials. It's too bad that too much time has passed. The gold sand's energy has already been exhausted by the runes and turned to trash. Bei Shishi sighed regretfully. For a powerful metal cultivator like her, that Phoenix blood sand gold was very valuable. That was why it was such a pity. That's the heaven merging stone spirit. Pretty girl, it's time for you to use your abilities, said Long Chen as he looked at the giant. What did you call me? Bei Shishi looked at Long Chen coldly. It seemed she had a great distaste for this appellation. What are you looking at me like that for? Calling you a pretty girl is praise. Why can't you differentiate between good and bad? Long Chen looked at Bei Shishi irritably. Exactly. My boss calling you pretty lady is because he looks favorably upon you. Not calling you snotty girl is already giving you face. You always had snot coming out of your nose when you were small. Don't think that I don't know. Exclaimed Bei Ziaol immediately when Long Chen and Bei Shishi started clashing. You little brat. Do you need a spanking? Bei Shishi's fury instantly soared. Seeing her enraged. Rather than being scared. Bei Ziaol grew even more zealous. If I'm a brat, then you're a brat too. What about it? Do you want to hit people? Come. I have a boss now. My boss even dares to beat our dad. Just try and touch him. And you'll see that my boss doesn't even care about you. My boss said that women like you should be turned into bed warmers. And if you don't listen you should be beaten. Bezaiol's words left everyone stunned. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples stared at Long Chen in disbelief. Ignoring everyone else, even Long Chen's own expression darkened. Just when had he ever said such a thing? This little fellow's head had once more gotten off kilter. Was he intentionally conning him? Did you really say that? Bei Shishi glared at Long Chen hatefully. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples clenched their fists. 
After following Beishishi for so long, this was actually their first time seeing her so angry. They prepared to fight. That's right. Come. My boss isn't afraid of you. Just as Bei Ziaol was arrogantly shouting, Luo Ning covered his mouth. Fairy Shishi, don't listen to Ziaol's nonsense. Long Chen definitely never said such a thing, explained Luo Ning hastily. Luo Bing and the others were speechless. What kind of time was it for this nonsense? Could it be that the world of experts was truly so inexplicable? If I learn you said such a thing, I'll beat you to a pulp, said Bei Shishi coldly. Long Chen was enraged. How could he have possibly said such a thing? She was essentially threatening him. Without the slightest courtesy, he replied, Whether or not I said that isn't important. I just want to ask you, did you really have a snotty nose as a child? The kind where it flies out like noodles. Scram. Bei Shishi's eyebrows were vertical. A single word was spit out from the cracks between her teeth. Just at this moment, the fighting ring shuddered. Luo Bing and the others stared in terror behind Long Chen and Bei Shishi. The two of them also felt a chill, as if some terrifying thing was staring at them. They slowly turned around to find that the sleeping giant had actually stood up and was staring at them. Are you here to challenge me? Chapter 3016 Bring you out Luo Bing and the others stared in terror at that giant. Its entire body was covered in runes. When it woke up, the sound of the heartbeat vanished. But instead, its terrifying pressure slowly crushed them. Even its voice caused this entire space to shudder. It felt as if as long as it shouted, it could blast them to pieces. The person who wrote the bone book wanted someone to subdue it? What a giant joke. Challenge it? How were they supposed to challenge it? Everyone looked at Long Chen and Bei Shishi. That's right. We came to challenge you. Activate the formal ceremony, said Long Chen fearlessly. In his arrogance, he actually included Bei Shishi in his words, causing everyone to jump. The giant spread its hand. A snow white ball of light appeared in front of Long Chen and Bei Shishi. Place your hand on it and we can start, said the giant. Big fellow. Prepare yourself. I'm going to. Long Chen suddenly grabbed Bei Shishi's hand and pressed it down on the globe of light. Bei Shishi had never expected Long Chen to say such big words with such an arrogant expression just to con her. Long Chen was quick as lightning, but Bei Shishi's reaction was even faster. Just as her hand was about to touch the globe, golden light appeared on her hand, and Long Chen felt like he was grabbing an oily mud fish. With a light pull, Bei Shishi escaped his hold. By the time that Long Chen reacted, his hand was already pressing against the globe. Space seemed to solidify. Everyone stared at Long Chen. Serves you right. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples were originally infuriated when they saw Long Chen con Bei Shishi, but seeing him only con himself, they instantly grew delighted. Bei Shishi looked at Long Chen's lifeless expression and slowly smiled. What are you smiling about? This was a huge opportunity, and I actually selflessly gave it to you, but you refused to accept my kindness, raged Long Chen. Please, this opportunity should be left to you. I wish you good fortune. Bei Shishi's smile made her even more beautiful, but she clearly didn't believe in his good intentions. Just at this moment, the light enveloped Long Chen, and he appeared in front of the giant. The light then spread to cover the entire fighting ring. This light was actually a barrier. Once the barrier was formed, they were unable to hear anything through it. The terrifying aura from the giant also faded. It felt like a giant mountain crushing them had suddenly vanished. Will Brother San be alright? Asked Mu King Ian worriedly. He was like an ant in front of that giant. It was like a single finger could crush him. He'll be fine. This should be a trial. Although this giant is terrifying, it doesn't have any killing intent. It won't be killing anyone. That's why Long Chen would think of conning me, said Bei Shishi. Hearing that, everyone relaxed slightly. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples felt slightly less malice for Long Chen. Both Long Chen and Bei Shishi had known that this giant had no killing intent, which was the only reason he messed around with Bei Shishi. Long Chen looked up, and then even further up. This terrifying giant was far too big. According to my agreement with Ying Lu, if you can defeat me within the same realm, I will recognize you as master. However, they left me here for too long. While in slumber, I inadvertently condensed a king crystal. 
No matter how I suppress my cultivation base, I can only suppress it to the peak of the four peak realm of your human race. I suppose in order to be fair, as long as you can endure the power of a tenth of my four peak realm, it will count as your victory. How is that? Asked the giant. This giant spoke calmly, but it was like thunder in Long Chen's ears. It felt like his head would split open. Brother, can you speak quieter? My head hurts. Long Chen held his head. This giant was too terrifying. All right, I'll do my best to whisper the giant nodded and really did lower its voice. However, even then, it caused space to rumble. But at least it was better than before, and his head no longer hurt. Let's start. Just as the giant was about to make its move, Long Chen suddenly said, One moment. How long has it been since you fought with anyone? I don't know. After losing my bet with Ying Lu, I promised to stay here and wait for people to challenge me. But no one ever came. Then I repeatedly fell into slumber. I have no concept of your human race's time, said the giant. Then it's been a long time since you've fought, asked Long Chen. Yes. Then are you able to accurately control a tenth of your power? Asked Long Chen. It's not easy, but I can try, said the giant hesitantly. Long Chen instantly began to sweat. If the giant could accurately control itself to the peak of the four peak realm, perhaps it was winnable. However, this giant hadn't fought in who knew how many years. If it didn't control itself properly, wouldn't he simply be crushed? Then I think we should give up on it. There's still a bit of a problem with my cultivation technique, and I can't use my full power. I'm a too much of a disadvantage. Long Chen shook his head. Ah, then you're giving up. The giant seemed a bit disappointed. I don't necessarily want to give up. I just want to see if we can find a fair way to compete. That's right. You should be from the heavenly stone spirit race, right? The race said to keep their promises the most in the nine heavens and ten lands asked Long Chen. The heavenly spirit race was not part of the human race. Instead, they could be considered stone spirits. They were born from heaven and earth, some of the life forms with the longest life spans within this world. They were said to have kind dispositions, but weren't too friendly with the human race, because throughout history, they had suffered countless times at the hands of the human race. Wars had erupted between the two sides, causing hideous casualties. The heavenly stone spirit race's experts' cultivation technique was simply sleeping. They could sleep for thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of years. If they weren't disturbed, they usually only woke up when they advanced. After asking some questions, Long Chen learned that this heavenly stone spirit expert was tricked. After losing a bet, it promised to wait for someone to defeat it and become its master. Once its master died, it would have accomplished its promise. But even after so many years, no one challenged it. It ended up sleeping all the way until now. The Starry River sect was already destroyed, but it was still sleeping. It wasn't even aware of what was happening in the outside world. Upon reaching this point, Long Chen suddenly smiled like a wolf looking at a little sheep. Brother, let's not fight. Why waste the effort? Just directly accept me as master, and I'll bring you out. Restoring your freedom. How is that? Chapter 3017 Defeating the Stone Spirit We can't do that. A promise is a promise. The heavenly stone spirit race must keep its promises. Said the giant. What promise? That fellow tricked you. The starry river sect is already destroyed. Come with me. Once you're out. You'll have your freedom. We can all go back to our own homes. Isn't that good? Proposed Long Chen. The giant was shocked to hear that the Starry River sect was already destroyed, but he shook his head. If I don't fulfill my promise, it would be breaking the promise. That would be a disgrace to the entire stone race. I won't do such a thing. Then what can we do? You promised to fight others in the same realm, but you can't suppress your cultivation base to the same level as mine, said Long Chen, a bit speechless. This giant was truly stubborn. How about you come back when your cultivation base reaches the peak of the four peak realm? What? Long Chen couldn't possibly stay here that long. But this giant's power was overwhelming. If he could obtain his help, what would he have to fear? However, no matter what Long Chen said, this giant refused to leave this place. 
he had to have someone defeated and recognize them as master to fulfill his promise from back then. Furthermore, through his explanation, Long Chen learned that his agreement was to only help his master once before the agreement was complete. Hearing that, Long Chen was a bit disappointed. However, he suddenly had a thought. That person had at least had a bit of conscience to not make this giant their eternal slave. Even just having this giant attack one time would be absolutely terrifying. This was definitely the strongest life protecting talisman. Unfortunately, Long Chen's enticing baits were all rejected. Someone had to defeat him for him to leave. Long Chen's mouth ran dry. It was useless. Long Chen was starting to get vexed. Outside the barrier, Bei Shishi and the others didn't know what was going on. They only saw Long Chen constantly gesturing and growing exasperated, while the giant was essentially repeatedly shaking his head. However, seeing that he wasn't in danger, everyone relaxed slightly and just calmly waited. All right, then what about this? My cultivation base hasn't reached the peak of the four peak realm, and you can't suppress your cultivation base any longer. We should have a fair competition, said Long Chen helplessly. All right, if you can come up with a fair way to compete, that would be best, said the giant. We can do it this way. Stick out your fist. I will also stick out my fist. I will use a kind of power within my body to fight you. That's no problem, right? Asked Long Chen. Of course that is no problem. I also want to leave this place, but I must fulfill my promise first. I know that you're a good person. Thank you for helping me, said the giant. I'm a good person. Long Chen was surprised. Of course, you have the mark of the butterfly spirit race on your hand, as well as the aura of the rainbow crane race on your body. You must be a good person. The butterfly spirit races from the same spirit race as our heavenly stone spirit race. Although we don't have dealings with them, we can recognize their mark, said the giant, the butterfly spirit race. Long Chen instantly thought of when he had entered the netherworld with the old man. On top of the nine springs, he had saved a beautiful woman with a pair of butterfly wings on her back. She had gratefully kissed his hand, leaving a mark. That mark had long since vanished, but this giant still noticed it. The rainbow crane is an auspicious beast of the entire immortal world. You have their aura on your body, so you must have come into contact with them. They also dislike the human race, so for them to be willing to interact with you shows that you are truly a good person. That is why you are in such a rush to become my master. I trust you, but the heavenly stone spirit race cares greatly about promises, so I can't go back on my promise. I accept your feelings, but a promise is a promise. You must defeat me first said the giant gratefully. You're making me very ashamed. I'm saving you because of your combat power. I want you to help me. Even with Long Chen's thick face, he felt a burning sensation. All right, let's not talk. Helping you is helping myself. As for whether or not we have any destiny, we'll see right now. Long Chen had the giant stick out his fist. He bent down and slowly extended his fist in front of Long Chen. This fist was bigger than an entire house. Only at this distance did Long Chen see countless runes covering it like the lines on a stone. Those runes weren't even activated, but their pressure hurt Long Chen's skin. He was truly terrifying. My method to compete is a bit different. You have to listen to my directions and not mess around, or I might lose my life, warned Long Chen. He felt like he was going crazy. He was actually doing something so dangerous. The giant nodded, indicating that he would listen. Only then did Long Chen slowly press his fist against that giant fist. He slowly closed his eyes. As soon as their fists touched, a layer of runes covered Long Chen's fist. There were actually signs that his fist was turning to stone. Long Chen was prepared for this. This giant had been slumbering for who knew how many years. His cultivation base had soared, but he hadn't fought with anyone, so he couldn't control its power. That was why Long Chen couldn't believe him when he said that he could control his power. He sensed the immense power in his body. It felt like he could destroy an entire world on his own. As the stone energy invaded his fist and his fist gradually turned the color of stone, Long Chen drew a trace of this energy into his dantian, sending it into the primal chaos space. When that energy entered the primal chaos space, the land began to turn to stone. 
One mile, ten miles, a hundred miles. The yellow soil turned to stone. When it finally reached a width of a thousand miles, the primal chaos space shuddered slightly. It seemed that it had been woken by this invading power. The primal chaos space unleashed a wave of power. The stone earth was blasted apart. At the same time, a supreme will erupted. It seemed that the primal chaos space was angered. Boom. Long Chen's arm shook. His entire fist turned black as ink. An enormous power exploded like a volcano. The ground beneath his feet shattered. The giant was sent flying like a cannonball. The giant landed on the stone wall of the fighting ring. The entire fighting ring shook. The formation shattered. The roof began to cave in. Not good. Long Chen's expression changed. With such a giant roof falling, all of them would be crushed. Suddenly, the giant unleashed a cry and slammed two hands on the ground. Four giant pillars soared out and kept the roof up. Beishishi and the others turned pale. They hadn't had any time to use any magical arts. They stared in shock. You've won. This warrior of the heavenly stone spirit race is willing to fight for you. The giant knelt down on one knee towards Long Chen. Chapter 3018 Terrifying Junior Brother Long Chen himself was stunned. He saw that one of the heavenly stone spirit race's giant's arms was covered in cracks as if it would shatter at any moment. He was unable to beat this terrifying giant, so he had used the primal chaos bead's power. His goal had only been to show his power to prove that if they were in the same realm, he could defeat him. Although there was a hint of cheating, after all, the primal chaos bead was still part of his power. However, he hadn't expected the consequences to be so severe. The giant's arm was almost destroyed. Is your arm all right? Are you all right? Asked Long Chen hastily. Master, don't worry. I'm fine. Even as the giant spoke, his arm's runes came to life, moving across his arm and healing the cracks. Seeing that he was fine, Long Chen relaxed. He felt even greater shock at the primal chaos bead's power. Currently, he was unable to control its power. He had to draw in other people's power to disturb it into a counterattack if he wanted to use it. On the Martial Heaven continent, he had drawn in the Heaven Devastating Bracelet, provoking the Primal Chaos Bead. It unleashed a single attack that destroyed it without even giving it a chance to fight back. Just now, he had done the same with this giant's power. Thankfully, that giant's power didn't contain any malice. The Primal Chaos Bead merely reflected the power. Otherwise, if it was angered, the primal chaos bead might have just killed the giant. Long Chen still understood far too little about the primal chaos bead. This mysterious bead he had obtained in the mortal world's Jiuli secret realm was still hiding countless secrets. Wait a moment. Jiuli secret realm. Jiuli immortal characters? Jiuli race? Could it be? Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Was the primal chaos bead related to the mysterious Jiuli race? Long Chen had come into contact with quite a few ancient immortal characters. It was difficult for him to comprehend other kinds of immortal characters, but he found it very easy to learn Jiuli immortal characters. Perhaps they were connected. Master, please place the slave mark. The heavenly stone spirit race's giant finally opened its mouth when he saw Long Chen's bewildered expression. No need. I trust you. Long Chen recovered his wits and shook his head. This simple and honest giant made Long Chen think of wild. He felt him to be very pitiable. He had been tricked here and been in slumber for so long, and yet he still had to keep his promise. He was so foolish that it hurt his heart. He was just like wild. No, part of the promise is for you to place a mark. I will then help you out once. Only then will the promise be fulfilled, said the giant. Long Chen rolled his eyes, as expected of the stone spirit race. Even his head was made of stone. There was no bending. Long Chen was already aware of his temperament. If he didn't place a slave mark, he wouldn't listen. Not wanting to waste the time, Long Chen directly placed a spiritual mark. This is, this spiritual mark stunned the giant. You trust me, and I trust you. This equal contract leaves my life in your hands and your life in my hands, said Long Chen with a smile. This mark connected their souls. Either side could kill the other now. It was truly something that could only be done between two people with utmost trust in each other. Thank you. The giant knelt on one knee and carried out an extremely ancient form of etiquette towards Long Chen. 
That was the highest expression of respect in the heavenly stone spirit race. That's enough. There's no need for us to be so courteous to each other. Don't call me master either. Although you've lived countless years, you've experienced too little. I won't stand on courtesy. You can call me Brother San, said Long Chen unashamedly. Brother San, the giant instantly called him brother. For such a terrifying existence to call him brother, even Long Chen felt pride. What's your name? I have no name. When I was born, my people told me to go out for tempering. After condensing the king crystal, I have to return to my race and be bestowed a name by our leader. However, I encountered Ying Lu not long after I went tempering. Then I lost my bet with him and was stuck here. Actually, I really want to return home and see my father and mother. They're definitely worried after not seeing me for so many years, said the giant sadly. He no longer seemed like an expert, but a child that had gotten lost. Don't worry, once we get out, I'll help you return home, said Long Chen. He felt a bit of disdain for that Ying Lu. That fellow had actually taken advantage of such an innocent soul. He was absolutely shameless. Come, don't resist. I'll bring you to my spiritual space, said Long Chen. The giant nodded. Since their souls were connected, he suddenly vanished. He was now in Long Chen's vast spiritual space. In the distance, he saw a giant gate. Even compared to his giant form, he was tiny in front of that gate. A star shone within the gate. That was the divine gate star. The giant suddenly said, I feel like I've seen that star before Long Chen jumped in shock. Do you know where you saw it? Let me think. It seems. At the top of the divine statue, there's a star diagram. That star seems a bit similar to this star, said the giant. Long Chen was delighted. It seemed that this stone statue actually contained its own world. They were at the bottom of the statue, but the top also had its own space. This giant had an innate divine ability, the heaven merging eyes. He was capable of seeing through space. This world was practically transparent to it. That was why the person from the Starry River sect had called him the Heaven Merging Stone Spirit. Hearing this, Long Chen immediately rushed out of the fighting ring. Luo Bing and the other's ears were rumbling, because the roof was still unstable. Chunks of it constantly fell despite the four pillars holding it up. It looked as if it might collapse at any moment. They hadn't heard anything that Long Chen had said to the giant even after the barrier was broken. Seeing Long Chen return safe and sound and the giant had vanished. Everyone was about to ask him what happened when Long Chen directly said, let's go quickly. This place is going to collapse. Everyone followed the path forward, and just as they did, the rear shook. The giant fighting ring vanished. This fighting ring was its own space. Due to countless years passing without anyone watching over it, it was severely damaged. After the impact of the giant, it collapsed. Long Chen led them to the abdomen of the divine statue. However, he didn't see a staircase leading up further. There is an invisible door on the left. Push it open and it will lead to the top, said the giant within Long Chen's spiritual space. Chapter 3019 Mysterious Star Diagram with the Giant's Reminder Baziol used his spatial energy to sense a spatial gate. This spatial gate normally required a special key to open. But with the destruction of the Starry River sect and with no one to maintain the formation, the lack of energy supporting it made it easy for everyone to pass through. There's so many murals, Luo Bing exclaimed. Although they had also seen murals on the way here, those had been broken by others. These murals were still perfectly intact. Novaloon.com These are records of cultivation techniques. They weren't recorded with characters. Instead, the Tao was passed down through murals careful. Just then Beisha she pulled back one of the women beside her. That woman hacked up blood. Blood poured out of her eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. Everyone was appalled. They looked around, but they didn't see any attackers. Long Chen pressed a finger against her forehead. A lightning rune flickered, and she woke up from her unconsciousness. Your soul has been severely damaged. You should focus on recondensing it while your soul energy has yet to scatter said Long Chen. He also gave her a medicinal pill. After consuming the medicinal pill, her complexion improved. She gradually recovered. She nodded her thanks to Long Chen before closing her eyes and focusing entirely on healing. Brother San, 
What just happened? asked Mu Qingyan. That had come out of nowhere. Bei Shishi said, Everyone, don't try to study the murals, and don't investigate them with your spiritual strength. Our realms aren't high enough, and doing so will cause your soul to scatter. King Gai just now was drawn in by the mental realm of the mural. By immersing herself in it, her soul almost crumbled. Be wary everyone jumped in shock. Just now, they had truly been intent on closely examining these murals. They hadn't expected there to be such danger. It's alright if you look at them, as long as you aren't sucked in by them. Don't instinctively try to cultivate them. Sisters from the Heaven Female Alliance, I'll trouble you to gather these murals. When we give them to the Academy, we'll get a huge amount of points, as well as being able to cultivate these techniques for free once they're translated, said Long Chen. He was giving face to the Heaven Female Alliance. These murals might contain the secrets of the Starry River sect on his side. He had too many random people, other than the people from the two guilds. The others weren't so trustworthy. For Bei Shishi to be able to instantly find the spies within her ranks after her battle with Lu Yanchang showed that she was very strict with her management of her subordinates. There shouldn't be anything like someone selfishly pocketing a few murals when it came to her people. Seeing Long Chen let them take the murals instead of splitting them, the Heaven Female Alliance's disciples were impressed. That was also a kind of trust. Their distaste for him lightened. These murals were not directly carved into the stone walls. Instead, the walls had been built with specific grooves for the murals, and they were then added on. These murals were incredibly precious. Although the formation was essentially out of energy, they were still extremely careful when taking them off. This was also why he had the Heaven Female Alliance do this work, because they were far more meticulous in comparison. The first mural was quickly taken down. It was a three-foot square and three inches thick. Beishishi examined it and smiled. The mural's formation is one with the mural. Its energy has yet to scatter. The Academy will definitely have a way to extract the cultivation technique inside. The Academy might be lacking in other areas but when it came to studying ancient tomes, they were definitely the strongest. Even incomplete inheritances could be restored. However, they still didn't know what level these techniques were. They had no way of appraising them, but for them to have been placed in such a hidden place, they were definitely the Starry River sect's highest level inheritances. They progressed slowly here, as extracting the murals was difficult. They couldn't make the slightest mistake. Some people took charge of recording how many they obtained. With so many eyes watching, no one dared to be careless. Long Chen, what about that heaven merging stone spirit? Seeing everything going smoothly, Bei Shishi finally couldn't hold back her curiosity. I accepted him as my junior brother, said Long Chen casually. Junior brother, everyone was stunned. They had seen that Long Chen and the giant had been saying something, but then the giant had been sent flying. Even now, they didn't dare to believe that this was done by Long Chen. However, if he hadn't done that, this giant wouldn't be willing to leave with him. Everyone felt befuddled. They didn't know what had happened. He, do you regret it? I told you that it was a huge opportunity that I was leaving you. Because of a promise, that giant was forced to stay here. He wanted to leave a long time ago, but no one came to defeat him. So he had to wait countless years. How could I have beaten him? You ask. Naturally he acted like I defeated him and took me as master. As a result, I've gained a junior brother that I can bring out to play, said Long Chen. He was very pleased with Bei Shishi's stunned expression. Although it was a bit beyond belief, it was better than saying that Long Chen had used his own power to defeat the giant. No one would believe such a thing. Brother San, doesn't that mean that you're completely unrivaled now? Asked Mu Qingyan excitedly. No. The stone giant said that he will only help me once. After that, his promise will be complete. And we'll have nothing further to do with each other. Said Long Chen. Ah, what a pity. But now we have nothing to fear when it comes to Zhao Wazheng and the others. You can just summon that giant and crush them. Exclaimed Zhang Ling. Them? No. Does killing chickens require such a thing? I don't want to waste such a trump card on them, said Long Chen. With his immense power, the stone giant's power had to be used at the right moment. If Long Chen felt the urge, 
Perhaps he could con the giant into continuing to help him, but he wasn't willing to do such an immoral thing. That giant looked big, but he was really like a child, and he wanted to go home. He wanted to see his family again. Long Chen couldn't possibly hold him back for too long, but he also wouldn't waste such a good trump card. Hearing that he had obtained such a trump card, everyone felt greater confidence inside. The pressure that they felt from Zhao Wuzheng and the others lightened quite a bit. Pretty girl, do you regret it now? Long Chen looked at Bei Shishi like a pleased, petty little person. That was an appearance that deserved a spanking. Scram. Call me pretty girl again and I'll kill you. Bei Shishi glared at him and clenched her fists. What about snotty girl? Asked Bei Ziaol. You scram as well. Bei Shishi's voice rose a few levels. That appearance of hers was quite ominous. But it also contained another kind of beauty that didn't ruin her image at all. It felt as if she had truly gotten angry. Long Chen stopped teasing her and instead continued to watch as the murals were taken off. When they reached the end of the murals, Long Chen's smile vanished. His heartbeat quickened. Long Chen ran over to the murals at the end. He looked at the nine stars revolving around a ball of light within. He was instantly enraptured. Is this the legendary nine heavens? Ten Lands Chapter 3020 Starry River Sage The nine stars were revolving around a nebula. That nebula was like an entire cosmos, yet also like countless stars forming a single celestial body. Standing in front of that mural, he felt like a speck of dust. He felt completely minuscule, powerless. The immortal world was said to have nine heavens and ten lands. The nine heavens referred to nine locations within the cosmos. The Ten Lands referred to worlds behind the Nine Heavens. Although Long Chen had read the Academy's books, he still didn't have a complete understanding of the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. That was because those records were essentially legends, and only mentioned in miscellaneous notes and unofficial history. The Orthodox records did not mention the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. That was because there was no basis for such a thing, so they couldn't randomly bring it up. Legend was that the nine heavens and ten lands composed the entire world. The heavens contained the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. The ten lands were worlds behind the nine heavens. Previously, Long Chen had read some books that mentioned such a thing, but he had been unable to comprehend it. But looking at this star diagram, he instantly understood. The nine stars were giant, revolving around the giant sphere of light. The sphere of light emitted divine light that illuminated the nine stars. However, behind the nine stars were shadows just as big as them. Those were areas that the light couldn't reach. Where there was light, there was shadow. Long Chen finally understood what it meant when it was said that the ten lands were worlds behind the nine heavens. Wait, no. If there are nine stars, there should only be nine lands behind them. Right. However, his theory was quickly broken. Just at that moment. His gaze roved around the star diagram. He looked down. He saw another depiction. It contained a man standing in the night sky. There were seven stars behind him. The space around him twisted until it was collapsing. It was as if the entire world would shatter because of his existence. It looked to be a long-haired man. His arms were spread, and there seemed to be countless spots on his shoulders. Endless energy of heaven and earth poured towards him. Although it was just a mural. It was still possible to sense that supreme, lonely air of hegemony. Seven star battle armor. Long Chen's heart pounded. He was sure that this was a nine star air using the seven star battle armor. It was a very simple depiction, but just a few strokes were enough to show his unrivaled domineeringness. That feeling was something that Long Chen was all too familiar with. He continued looking down. Beneath that nine star air was a person prostrating themselves before him. Continuing further, the nine star air was gone, but that person prostrating was now sitting in the sky, countless stars revolving around him. Within his danchen were two stars flowing in the form of the yin and yang fish. I understand. This person is the starry river sage. His starry river of the sky art was based on the nine star hegemon body art. However, you can't have a danchen when cultivating the nine star hegemon body art. This person blazed a new path. Condensing yin and yang energy in his danchen to endure the impact of the astral energy so he didn't blow up. However, did he receive the inheritance of the nine star air, or was he simply enlightened by the sight of one of them? 
Long Chen felt that it was more likely that he had simply found an insight from a nine-star heir. For that person to be prostrating towards the nine-star heir, he had definitely received that person's favor. Perhaps the two of them even had some kind of relationship. The nine-star hegemon body art couldn't be transmitted to others. If it was, it would only harm them and kill them. Continuing to look down, he didn't see anything else. This mural ended here. It seemed that these murals were left behind by the Starry River Sage to record the origin of the Starry River Sage. Long Chen looked at the next mural. This mural depicted how the Starry River Sage had created the Starry River of the Sky art from the Nine Star Hegemon body art. It was concise and comprehensive. It seemed to be made by the same person as the first mural. There were many star diagrams. It looked extremely chaotic and messy, as if a child had randomly thrown paint. However, inside, Long Chen sighed. This starry river sage's imagination and calculation powers were truly astonishing. Based on the seven-star battle armor, he had split it into tens of thousands of steps that slowly imitated it. The starry river sage failed at this process countless times. He was almost blasted apart, but he still managed to create the starry river of the sky art. At the bottom of the second mural was a line of ancient text. Long Chen was actually unable to completely read it. A portion of them were third-generation Jiuli immortal characters, but some were difficult to comprehend symbols. Long Chen could only assume that they were second-generation Jiuli immortal characters. Since he didn't recognize a portion of the text, he could only generalize based on what he could read. The general meaning was that the Starry River Sage created the Starry River of the Sky Art, but ended up injuring himself in the process. He died not long after. His oldest disciple was called Li Xing. He was the one who actually created the Starry River sect. Li Xing was not his original name. It was a name he took to show his gratitude to his master for transmitting the Tao to him. He became the Starry River Sage. Living under his master's title, he carried out his master's legacy. Creating the Starry River sect even the statue was actually of his master, not him. Reading here. Long Chen nodded inside. For a disciple to be so grateful, he was admirable. In comparison, Lord Brahma had received his master's blessing, only to betray them. He was worse than trash. The characters also recorded how the starry river of the sky art still had many flaws. In terms of power, it was still a far cry from the seven star battle armor. Furthermore, it was unable to create a manifestation of the dome of the sky and was simply not recognized by the nine heavens and ten lands. Even right before his death, he couldn't let go of this regret. Long Chen sighed inside. This starry river sage could truly be considered a marvel of the heavens. Regretfully, he was not a nine-star heir. His fate ended there. For him to create the starry river of the sky art based on the seven-star battle armor was truly amazing. As for Li Xing, he was also admirable. He did all this for his master. Regretfully, the Starry River sect had been destroyed. Long Chen looked at the two murals. He now understood the creation of the Starry River sect as well as the Starry River of the Sky Art. He once more looked at the star diagrams. There were countless star diagrams here. Most had been abandoned, because there was no way to connect them. But these were fresh new ideas to Long Chen that inspired him. His inheritance was incomplete. He had also deviated from the original path when he forcibly condensed the six-star battle armor. In the future, he would have to rely on himself. These possibilities laid out before him were very helpful. After examining the star diagrams, he then returned his focus to the nine-star air. Seeing those spots on his arms, he suddenly had a thought. His heart almost jumped out of his chest. It was like a bolt of lightning had struck him. I thought of it. I know how to control the power of my divine flames. 